Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Stream of Chaos. My name is James, and I am the Keeper for this game of Shadows Over Stillwater, which is a Call of Cthulhu campaign set in the Wild West. I am joined by this fantastic cast of folks who will introduce themselves very shortly. Uh, but first of all, uh, let me just say that we have slightly adjusted some of our channel point values. You can take a look at those, but they shouldn't have any grand impact <laughs> on anything. Let's jump right in and have some introductions. So Joseph, would you like to introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Art. I am playing Dr. Joseph Waite, uh, a slightly psychotic currently doctor I think. Mm. i'm not sure he had some problems last session a <laughs> little bit uh griff uh hey i'm daniel i'm playing uh griff gutherson who is a big uh, old-fashioned mountain man and uh last time i looked at a bunch of things on the ground which turned out to be a grenade and it blew up in my face and it hurt a lot grenades tend to it's a they they, 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 can, they can do that fairly often uh greece uh, g'day, I'm Dave, I'm playing Greece, and I'm so lucky we had to redo the luck point system, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you are, that is true. Uh, Mac. Hey, I'm Jackson, I'm playing Marshall Jeremiah Mac McDonald. Uh, last time he got blown up, I said grenade. Um, so that was a good time, but he's hardy and he can, he can take it. Um, should be fine. Okay, and Blanca. Hi, uh, my name is Rachel and I am playing Blanca and last time we saw me, I was a little bit mind controlled into murdering all my friends and as bit. far as I can remember, I did not succeed. Which you I got think... pretty close. You I got, got very close. close. <laughs> but you had an awesome, awesome flashback scene instead. Which That's was true. Very cool. Oh yeah, that was good. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Right, so for those of you who are just joining us, who might not know the story so far, those of you who need a little bit of a refresher, our heroes are hot on the trails of the Green-Eyed Gang, a collection of outlaws and criminals, all of whom they have a vendetta against. They are following a man named Hank Hanaratty, who they have tracked to the town of Stillwater. But upon arriving in Stillwater, they found that there's some strangeness in the town and that everybody seems to be under the effect of some bizarre sort of sickness. So they've tried to track down the source of the sickness, which took them into a nearby mesa, uh, where they were pursued by the undead and eventually heard rumors of bizarre snake people and have tracked one down, chased them into a cave, managed to kill them, uh, and then blown up the mouth of the cave, uh, covering it with rocks to stop the undead from pursuing them and uh, eating them alive as undead are wont to do. So we're going to jump back into the story with a collection of you alone in the dark. The light from Joseph's pistol has just flared out as Joseph took a shot at the snake person who had used some kind of magic or technology to assume his form. And now you're all alone. Your breath is coming quick and ragged. You're unconscious, Blanca, because you were uh, put to sleep with some of Joseph's chemicals. And as you all sit in the dark, terrified, images of snake people racing undead and terror rushing through your head, can you make me a sanity check? Oh, that makes <laughs> sense. Only way to start off a game of Call of Cthulhu. Does yeah. that include me? Uh, no, you're actually, you're, you're asleep. You're up in dreamland. I think <laughs> for the time being. It's you the one time okay. it's good to be asleep. Yeah. Oops, scraped That's it. so funny. Okay, so for those of you who take a fail, uh, you're actually going to lose a d4 of sanity here. This is sort of all of the horror of the last little while catching up with you all at once. Oh, I'm sorry, was that everyone? Um, everyone who fails. If you oh, no, fail. everyone's making the sand roll. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I tuned that out. I did not want to. Mac does not escape. <laughs> oh, good. Refuse. I don't Am I the only one that failed? Yes, you are, Grace. You are but the only one that failed. <laughs> I, I don't want this, but because it seems appropriate, I did just shoot myself in the head. Keeper, would you like me to roll with disadvantage? Um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, oh. roll with disadvantage. The, the, the hesitation was not, oh, will I inflict disadvantage upon you? The hesitation is, or will I just say you, it's more you just take loss. Just take a d6 anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's immediately worse. Um, 
Uh, do, on a on a success, do we take any 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 loss? No, on a success, you're going to be fine for oh, now. We're fine. You're managing to you're managing to push everything out and away and keep it at bay for the time being. Uh, so 50, 50, 50, 52, 52, still good. Yeah. So still good. Okay, fantastic. Great. Right. Okay. I'm the only one that failed. So, what's yep. going through your head, Greece? As you're kind of standing there alone, what what? Blanca did try to shoot you, didn't she? Well, no. Blanca managed to get behind, and then actually, I was in favor of preserving this creature because it said that it might know more about what's happening. So I tried to mm. prevent Mac from doing it, and then the doctor just shot it. So I'm not thrilled. Also, the lights just went out. So I think I'll call for Griff. I'll go, Griff, y'all have a light or a torch or something? I can't Hold see on, a damn let thing. Let me see what I got. I'll have a big pack and start rummaging through it. Can I roll a survival to see if I would have brought anything to make light or Makes anything? Makes sense to me. Yeah, make a survival check and you can try and see if you have anything to hand. At the minute, it's just pitch black. You can't see anything. The only thing you can hear is uh, you're fumbling through your things you're going through. Uh, you probably have some basic... Uh, you, know, you, you actually have quite a bit of equipment, but it is all on your horse, yeah. which is outside. Yeah. Um, mm possibly currently being devoured by a horde of undead. Griff, I'm no, not horse. screwing around. <laughs> Would you just light the damn torch? I, I don't got a torch. It's, it's on the horse. I, I probably have like a... Hell. Has anyone got a book of matches? Yeah, I think I was going to I was gonna say, I think I've got matches. Well, while smoke. you're fumbling in your pockets, let's have everybody who just might have something. Uh, Greece, we're going to say you don't get to roll here because you're a little mm. panicked. But the uh, other three of you, Blanca, Mac and joseph you can all roll Should a luck roll? check uh, oh, oh yeah sorry uh, we can yeah. find it on you yeah, you're, you're a little unconscious you might have it on you but we'll, we'll get to that later so joseph right. and mac can you both roll to see if you have a book of matches on you a luck test joseph does. Just... Joseph would... does okay perfect so a flame blooms to life in the middle of the dark and all of a sudden you can just sort of see each other's faces a little bit and you glance around um and you are in a very small uh cramped cave it goes up quite high but there's not much space at the sides it's relatively smooth as if it's been hewn out by uh, time and weather over many many years and you can see a tunnel heading deeper into the mountain that you know you're inside around you on the ground there's footprints and signs of passage because you've all sort of been dancing and running around here and of course lying on the ground is the body of Doc, as far as you can tell, only dressed in the garb of a prospector and with a large bullet hole in the center of his head. And the, 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 what kind of cave in are we talking? Can we um, start checking out how long it's going to take us to clear this thing? Sure thing. The entrance? Absolutely. You take a turn around, and um, I'm assuming, uh, Joseph, that you have, every couple of seconds, you know, you're. <laughs> dropping this and lighting up a new um, one. I was going to say, if there's anything to hand that I could wrap bandages, bandages around and make wow. like a makeshift. Also, just an aside, um, chloroform and ether, which are used as uh, anesthetics, are extremely flammable. So okay. if necessary, I'll just douse some bandages, wrap it around. If nothing else does a hand, probably the end of Blanca's rifle and set the fire. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Probably... I can't stop you. That is so... an expensive <laughs> rifle. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beautiful gold inlay one. Not my if rifle. anything else, I'll use something else, but I'm just thinking like, because the end of the rifle should be made of metal so it won't burn, only the rags will. Yeah, yeah. Look, okay. between the collection of you, you probably have enough equipment to try and fashion some kind of torch, but it is going to take a survival check. Having seen all of this, uh, Griff, if you'd like, you can step forward and try to help the doctor. Help fashion one out of, yeah, all right, all right. I'll have, I'll have another go at making, at making a, uh, a, a torch. Um, before it. before Mac heads over to, to look at the cave in, I just want to grab him by the elbow and just like look between him and Doc, who's just shot for all intents and purposes themselves. Hey, Mac, what do yep. we do here? Well, first we find out if we can dig a way out of this cave. If not... Well, whatever that thing was, seemed to know this was somewhere safe for it. Maybe if we go further down, we'll find something. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, Doc just killed someone. 
right? And that they might have had information. Ain't we supposed to do something about that? Well, not much we can do now. If it's dead, it's dead. Uh, all right. All right. I'm, I'm going to have a look through his pockets. Okay. That's fine. Fantastic. So you bend down. Now, th this, uh, this, the person that you chased was Hiram Colby, or at least that's how they introduced themselves to you. Uh, as you chased them through, they appeared to at some point change into the form of Doc, and you're not really sure what's going on here, but they might have some kind of equipment that you might be able to uh, figure something out with. Now, how did you go on your survival check, Griff? Uh, fine. Okay. Success there, I can see. Okay, so great. You get a couple of torches going and lights suddenly uh, blooms up and all of you are able to see the area immediately surrounding you. So, you're in just a small tunnel and the light uh, does not go particularly far. There is a passageway that appears to be leading deeper into the mountain itself. It extends as far as you can see, eventually fading away into gloominess. Your words aren't really echoing too loudly. There's not sort of this cavernous response, but uh, apart from that, this is identical to any other cave that you might have uh, been in and visited, apart from the cave-in and the dead body. Now, um, having now seen the cave-in properly, uh, can I get somebody to make a a, 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 a geology, <laughs> natural world, otherwise a hard strength check, I'd probably accept just to kind of be like, well, this is, I can see these rocks. I can probably move them if I have about this much time. Uh, I've got I've got a bit of natural world. I'm pretty good at that. Do you, do you guys? Yeah, yeah. Go and, go and take a natural world check. Meanwhile, right. Greece, can you please make a spot hidden check? Yep. <laughs> Oof! It has not been a good day for me. <laughs> hey, that's, Ooh, a that's that's a good one to get an extreme success on yeah, too. Uh, spot hidden. <laughs> yeah, that is a very good one to have an extreme success on. Um, meanwhile, before we jump over to the result of those two rolls, Joseph, can you please remind me what you use to knock out Blanca? Uh, yes, um, I th I think I changed halfway through, but I'll go back to the use of anesthetic because that seems to make the most sense, which is a mixture of alcohol, ether, and chloroform. Right. Now, what is the approximate time frame on that, for my knowledge? And mine. Yeah. <laughs> Blanca, um, Blanca might be interested. Put it this way. If I was doing a procedure on someone, I would have time to measure a dose and kind of keep them at a level that's appropriate for the, the procedure. This was fuck. Um, so do you want me to make a medicine check to see how much I bolted it up? Um, I'll tell you what, why don't we have instead, Blanca, let's give you your character some agency to act. Can, can you please make a constitution check for me? Absolutely. Give me one second. I closed my character sheet because I thought I wouldn't need it for a little while. <laughs> I immediately right. sprung a, sprung a roll. Uh, fail, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Um, you, you are still completely out of it. You are not quite unconscious, you know, asleep, but you're really unable to act. You can feel yourself sort of dead waiting, hardly able to see. Maybe you're muttering something occasionally under your breath or trying to, but the words aren't really coming out. Uh, what is the time that... Blanca spent some time in saloons over, over the years. What is the, what is the time that Blanca was the drunkest? Um, oh, okay. I'm trying to think. I think it would be the first time she played poker for real without just like cheating and then getting really mad and like kicking the table and stuff. She thought she'd like give it a real go, but uh, failed real bad and like lost immediately. So decided to just drown all her sorrows and get very, very drunk. It's it's about that bad, if not worse. <laughs> like nothing is making sense. Everything is swaying. You are feeling terrible. And it's like you have the hangover while you're still drunk, which is just the world's way of being unfair. Um, I need uh, 30 minutes. So, oh, okay, that's excellent to know. So it should be going away before too long. I'm glad it's not like, a, you know, six to seven hours. Seven hours, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, no, it's... Um, it's not measured in business it, days. It's relatively well. It's quick acting and also it's not like as much of an anesthetic as modern anesthesia because mm -hmm. you can't shove a pipe down someone's throat and breathe for them. So you can't knock them out that bad. Otherwise, Right. That's like, Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> so... Well, Oh, sorry, what, what did you say? Didn't want to kill Blanca. Yeah. <laughs> just... yeah. 
So it's no harm and all that. Yeah, yeah. Not um, to perfect. Yeah. So, um, Mac, uh, this, a lot of rocks. Uh, you are eyeballing this and this is going to take hours, but it very easily could be one of those things where you get into the task and realize that, you know, there's actually some massive boulder that is just completely blocking the entrance. A at this stage, you don't even know if this is possible, let alone whether you're going to be able to uh, execute this at this stage. Now, uh, Greece, you've been going through these pockets uh, mm -hmm. and I would like you to roll a D10 for me. Coming up. How's that? Okay. Big old uh, that is That is good to know. All right. So, um, Hiram has the a standard effects that you might see, expect to see on a prospector. Um, there's a uh, small uh, cattleman's revolver. There is, uh, you know, some clothes, um, just a general um, uh, sort of set of uh boots, laces, some chewing tobacco, everything like that. There's also some more esoteric things. He has a satchel at his side, uh, which inside it has a collection of strange sort of crystals and gems and uh, one or two of those wind chime things that you uh, were sold when you first met Hiram in the first sessions. Most of these are sort of broken and damaged or they just seem to be junk and you don't really notice much about them. So you're kind of tossing these things aside, but then you find in a hidden pouch at the back, a small, opaque, kind of dull yellow egg-shaped crystal. You pick it up, um, and it, it's making like a high-pitched whine. And as you put it to your ear, it, it's actually quite piercing if you get close enough to it. And it, when you touch it, it has an odd feeling to it. Like, it almost feels like it's pushing back. Something that um, uh, Greece wouldn't necessarily be able to articulate, but it's sort of like touching a battery or something like that. You feel this faint pressure coming out of it and it sits uh relatively weighty in your hand and you're certain that this is some kind of some kind of device you saw you were uh, a victim of of crystals like this one blowing up previously not they didn't look exactly the same but uh, strange shaped crystals blew up underfoot when you were chasing after hiram this could also be some kind of strange snake technology uh i pick it up confidently and then once I begin to realize what it is, I hold it a bit more gingerly and then cup between my hands, I, I turn to the others and I go, uh, I think this might be one of them exploding eggs what, you know, blew us asunder. Uh, Maybe what should, should I do with put, it? Put it down very slowly. You don't Ain't think I... no one got to fool around with that. Griff, why are you backing away? No reason. I just think we should be on opposite sides of the room at this point in the time. Not that I don't trust you, kid. I just... I, uh, no, ain't no reason to be standing next to each other. I mean, it, 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 don't, it don't feel too fragile. I, I, I rolled over to another hand. Is there a visible... Like, lever or trigger or something? Anything I might be familiar with for, like, how this would be activated? With your extreme success, you sort of feel like it, it has a natural way that it just fits in your palm. And as you sort of roll it from hand to hand, you almost feel like you could, as if it was a flick knife or something, you could just toss it and, and, and it would do, do something. That ain't real confidence inspired. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're tempted. I'll tell you what, you're tempted. Yeah. Um, I, do you think I might hold on to it just in case we come up against something that's prone to being exploded? Well, on the other hand, if we could use it to clear out this rockfall, yeah, that wouldn't be such a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that ain't a bad as idea. As long as that's not going to make the situation any worse. I don't Marshall. know. I, I do have a thought that uh, on the other side of that rough fall is about a mm, hundred sort of shambling. I, I don't know. I can't count that high, but a lot of shambling undead things. I don't know how much we want to blow that open and attract them all over here again. Yeah, but oh, that's, that's a good point. But down that way, there's uh, liable to be more of them. Well, whatever the hell he was. I mean, he looked like a gentleman and well, now he looks like Doc, and I mean, how do we know that there ain't more of them? And he was talking about, you know, cursed places and things, and 
I mean, maybe this goes right down to the depths of hell, and they're just wandering up and out of it. I mean, maybe we can use something like this. Send a few of them back where they came from. Rock in a hard place. Mm. We, we uh, need. Hey, Doc. Uh, I got, I got thought. Um, can you, you, uh, you ever done a like an a retopi thing before? An an retopi. An autopsy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's that's the one. Um, you, you think you could do that on 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 this uh this thing that that uh Greek uh, that uh, you done killed? Maybe uh figure out a little bit more about it. I don't know. Yeah, I reckon I can do that. Wait, I mean, just hang on. Wait, how long is Blanca gonna be out? Cause she's about the only one that didn't get blown to bits, and I'd rather she's not, you know holding I'm a weapon. Not, I'm not out. I'm just very sleepy. Oh, sorry, Miss um, Blanca. I can hear you talking about me, boy. You better watch your tongue. I I didn't mean no, I was just I thought y'all yeah, were <laughs> sleeping. Well, how about we hold up here for a while? Maybe maybe that gives uh the doctor a time to cut this thing open. We get a fire going, we can rest up a while and Blanca can start to clear ahead. What do we reckon? It looks like this Cavern goes a little deeper. Is it worth having a little look-see? Make sure we're alone? I'd rather keep together in one group. All right. In case one or more of these things come up and manages to convince one of us that they're one of us. All right. Should we make a code word or something so we know who's and who? You know, if someone attempts to masquerade, then we just say, Asparagus. No, or something. Oh, that's What's a asparagus. That's a fun idea, Greece. It's a vegetable. Uh, what it's do you a mean? Smart it's a idea. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? What it's a, a vegetable. Uh, what's an asparagus? I never heard of. It's a leafy vegetable. Like broccoli. Similar. <laughs> you just need to know the word. You don't need to know the nature. I, again, I'm I, I'm sorry. You're clearly out of it. I'm sure once you're fully woken up, you'll remember asparagus. I got an idea for code word. How about how about code word? It it's they'll never think of it. Code word works uh, just so long as we got something. I'm I keep on looking back deeper down the passage, and we only have like a torch for light, right? We're not exactly yeah, bathing yeah. in it. No. I'm I'm like half in the conversation at this point. I I, I want to make sure nothing sneaks up on us. I'm a little touchy. Yeah, fair enough. All right, so... Is there any kind of, like, tools or debris or scaffolding and such that we could conceivably use to make a fire? Scaffolding, tools? No, this looks like this was a, a natural cavern, or at least as close to a natural cavern as you can imagine one to be. Um, you probably have a little bit of equipment on your cells uh, that you could use to make a small fire, or at the very least, you can probably prop up your torches and make sure that they're not burning out too rapidly. You'll need to anyway if you want to have enough light for Joseph to be able to work. So uh, what I might do is I might have... Uh, Griff, would you be happy to make another survival check as your group of investigators are sort of gathering around and preparing to stay in this area for a while? Uh Ooh. Okay, perfect. So you establish some lights. Uh, it, it's ringing out. You're in this small little tunnel, but things are starting to get a little bit safer and a little bit easier. Um, I'm just going to add a small fire uh, in red to the um, Ooh, cute. Uh, area just here. Cute. Artistic license. Beautiful. You are well lit. Now, uh, Blanca, you're not going to do anything because you are, you are coming back to yourself. But once you are finally back, you, you actually... I'll, I'll let you do, you. do you think you wake up feeling refreshed or with like a terrible headache? Oh, God, no. Okay. I, I imagine I feel like death. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> give you the side effects if you like. I mean, <laughs> I've been under general anesthesia and you feel really weird for the first few hours after yeah. you wake up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. So you are in a you are in an odd position at the minute. You're feeling kind of strange and out of it, but you you are managing to behave at least somewhat normally. Meanwhile, Grease, did you say you wanted to have a listen? Look, I'm just keeping an eye out. Yeah, I'll listen. I'm no yeah. good with a knife or anything anyway. 
Scalpel. It's pretty dark, so so keeping a an eye out is going to be hard. But uh, keeping an ear out is definitely something you can do. So you can I'll do that. Yeah, please do. Um, Joseph, meanwhile, you have an autopsy to perform. I do. Also, um, nausea and vomiting are the side effects of ether and chloroform. Oh, fun. Alongside probably a nasty headache because you've like moderately yeah. suffocated. Cool. <laughs> Neat. I don't. I don't. I don't want to hear any of this. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I imagine the doc is telling you this as you're doing it. You're like, yeah, oh, yeah. No. You're, you're probably going through feel a nasty headache and a yeah, <laughs> nausea. Actually, are you getting the nausea yet? Oh, it'll what? happen. Don't worry. <laughs> what are the painkillers at this time? Would it be like morphine or like laudanum? I can yeah. give you laudanum if you if you're feeling icky. If you want some, that would be cool with some laudanum. All right. Um, and like before I go over an autopsy, I would have been next to. Blanca, making sure she was breathing. Yeah, yeah. Making sure she was coming to. I don't have any smelling salts, so I can't get her to come to quicker. Um, but I can, uh, if she's complaining and making pained noises, I can give you some laudanum. I would be cool with that. Big I believe sip. there are some rules for that. <laughs> yes. After being dosed with laudanum, um, can you please make for me a constitution check, Blanca? I also need to make a medicine check. Uh, to administer. Yes, you do. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Failed. If you go right back to sleep. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm up. probably not the worst thing to happen. <laughs> yeah. Sleep yeah, it off. Considered. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, I'll tell you, with an extreme success, you're actually going to be able to you, negate you, my fucking. You, yeah, you see Blanca start to like really nod off and manage to, you know, you, you regulate dosage and, um, uh, Blanca, you're effectively the, the headache is gone. You're able to focus. You're you're okay. You're back with us. Cool, Nate. I'm curious uh, if anyone looks in my bag at that point, just out of interest. I'm assuming not. Not me. Sweet. I'll get there one day. I don't look in other people's possessions. It's, it's rude. My mama told me better than that. I mean, <laughs> I, I would at this point reholster my gun in yeah. my bag. Yeah. Put yeah. that one away. The bag wow. of mysteries. We'll find out what secrets it holds at guns. some point, I'm sure. <laughs> a ton of guns. <laughs> guns. Uh, Mac, before the autopsy starts, what would you like to be doing during this time? Um, I don't know. I guess just making sure there's nothing sneaking up on us. Okay. So you too. Down uh, further you, down. You can make a listen check as well then. As I accidentally closed my character sheet for what will not be the last time. One listen roll coming up. Once I find it, there it is. Oh, this has been another episode of Jackson fails to roll a dice. <laughs> well, yeah, it was worth it. Uh, you really did fail. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're craning your neck, but um, you realize quickly that. They're, they're, you're, you're like, oh, there's a strange ringing coming up from deeper inside. Nope, that's, uh, that's <laughs> in my head. <laughs> there was an explosion earlier. And you're trying to sort of get that massage your ears a little bit. Meanwhile, on the other hand, uh, Greece, you succeeded your listen check. Yeah. And as you yeah. lean forward, you can definitely hear every now and again in the distance some kind of scraping, scuttling movement. It's big, as big as a big dog, or maybe even bigger, but it's not footsteps. It's not moving like well, any person that you've ever heard of. And sometimes you hear something else, a deeper movement, a kind of hum, a strange... There's, there's something going on from deeper down inside here, and you're not sure you like it. There's one other thing that happens before we get to the autopsy. After about, uh, uh, probably about half an hour into the process, once again there is going to be a massive earthquake that strikes. Now, since the ceiling is still a little bit unstable here, you all cringe and wait and hope that it doesn't collapse. Fortunately, it doesn't. But the force of the earthquake makes you think that the tremors seem to be originating from the mountain. This, the, the epicenter of this, the, the, of this tremoring seems to be from here. It is so strong in this area. Oh, that ain't good. No, it ain't. Now, from an autopsy perspective, um, can you please roll for me? A, uh, you got? Uh, can you roll for me another medicine check, please, um, uh, Joseph? Oh, fantastic! A success. All right, great. So, Joseph, you uh, kneel down and you 
uh, have by the light of the fire this body that is identical to you. You take a swig from your hip flask and you uh, get to work. It is a disconcerting process. You have to cut into yourself and you steal your body and you uh, uh, you work and you get through the process as quickly as you can, trying not to think too much about uh, what you're doing and letting your fascination with science take over instead. This body is on the surface identical to yours. Uh, the size is a little bit off. Uh, it's actually a tiny bit shorter than you. Um, but all in all, all of the features at a surface level seem to be the same. Internally, though, uh, this creature is a little bit different. You can see that um, the organs appear to be different shapes. They're slightly different positions. It's still human-ish, uh, human-like. Um, and if you had to, if you were presented with these features, independent of the knowledge that it's, you know, somehow magical, then you might have guessed it was just perhaps a mutated human. But um, there's a there's a definite pattern of uh, some kind of alteration. Since you succeeded, you were able to hypothesize that whatever that 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 the uh, the the points of difference seem to be because the imitation that made it look like you is not perfect, um, and it appears to have deteriorated over time. You guess that whatever disguise feature this is, whatever allows you to take the form of someone else, is limited in effectiveness. That is to say, that it will change over time. Do you have any other questions specifically that I can answer? Mm. Um, does it have any other glands that a human would have more so than a human would have? Um, there are the certain glands in the throat are appearing to expand uh, a little bit more. Now it's still all human, but based on a couple of extrapolations, you guess that there might be you know, possibly some venom glands or something like that that are beginning to develop and beginning to emerge. The neck is slightly elongating. Um, everything that you look at seems to suggest snake, serpent. Mm. This is all good information to have. And you you, you, you pull it out of the fire. You know, you're in a flickering cavern uh, working by firelight. This is just by virtue mm -hmm. of your, uh, your expertise in the field. Um, I mean... I can't think of anything else outside confirming the hypothesis that uh, saying snake. Um... Does it have anything like, I know that some snakes can like uh, taste the air and such. Do you reckon it can do the same thing? You're like, asking if it has got a bifurcated tongue or something? I guess. Or like, I, I don't really know what bifurcated means, but um, yeah. Uh, or like, sense vibrations in the ground um i mean i take a look I'll yep see. It, the, the tongue is beginning to start to split yep uh it's still humanoid at this stage but it is moving in that direction okay are there any scales um uh, there are there, the skin is beginning to uh, grow particularly patchy at, on the elbows and on the knees and and uh, what might just be sort of psoriasis or dry skin is if you look at it under a certain light uh, beginning to look ominously like scales developing. All right. I'd like to take a sample of the the scale yeah. matter um, and also depending on how far it gets. Um, Take a sample of whatever's in one of those glands, just not enough to do anything, just to get a sample test out later. Now, unfortunately, whatever degeneration was happening appears to have stopped right. when the creature died. Ah, uh, right. Okay. So uh, without the creature's <laughs> body continuing to, you know, function, um, whatever system that was working has stopped. So so you, uh, unfortunately, you can't quite get at the glands, but you you do take a little sample of what seems like to be a scale, and you, you have a couple of other samples from this from this beast. Last question, then. What color is its blood? Its color is its blood. Uh, it is the same uh, sort of uh, consistency as, as human blood, but it just appears to be becoming slightly um, paler. Maybe a slightly uh, uh, you know dries more of a pink than a than a dull red. Well, I know what color they bleed. At least they do bleed. When <laughs> I'm done with everything I do, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to drain my flask. Okay, fantastic. All right. So, um, uh, 
Doc uh, seems to relax somewhat after having drained um, their flask. And can I ask you, Doc, would you please make for me a, uh, a constitution test? Constitution or power? Uh, let's start with a uh, let's start with a constitution test for now. Probably not going to succeed, but I have a butt ton of luck. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Is that a fumble? That, that's a proper fumble. That's a oh, we did Mike. it. All right. Um, Too drunk girls. What, people. I guess that. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, now. No. We'll, this yeah. is going to be a fumble that has an evolving effect throughout this scenario. Uh, but as you all sort of get up, having finished the autopsy, deciding what to do next, uh, Doc, when you stand up, your flask falls from your hand and it takes you two tries to pick it back up. Um, and uh, you start to notice that the dots oh, are lightly unfocused. You know, I'm going to go so far as to say, I don't think that's water in his flask. <laughs> I don't give a damn what's in his flash. There's something moving down there, and we shouldn't be here no longer. Are we going deeper in or backing out? Um, I, I, I think I think the only option is deeper in. Yeah, we come this far. We said we wanted to get put an end to whatever it is they're doing out here. Only way we're doing that if we go is we're going in. All right. Well, ready your weapons. I, I heard something big in there. Maybe like a, a bear or something, and and there's just like an an energy around the area that I don't find friendly, like it's humming at me. Here's what I think: if we uh, come into any trouble, what if we just make out like we're one of them? I mean, they can look like us. Um, we don't know what these things are. I mean, well, we we look and we learn as much as we can before we start shooting. That's all I'm saying. All right, but I mean, Doc set a precedent. If we know what those things are and we know they ain't human or lordly, then I reckon we get to shooting pretty quickly. Well, I, I guess agree it just with depends you. on how many we come across. I mean, if this mountain keeps going further down, they could have an entire capital city down here. Oh. Hell, I, I happen to agree with Mac. I think we're in their ter territory by by the looks of it. I just think we might be outnumbered. and I mean, we could just say that we f fellow snakes. Yeah. I mean, maybe they, unless they hang out as snakes down here, then we'd be in trouble. I hope not. I just think we should hold off on the shooting, especially because it's dark. Right. We look and learn as long as we can. Try to put a stop to it. And if that means shooting some snakes, then that means shooting some snakes. And we don't have to shoot them. Snakes got a pretty good sense of smell. If uh, we ain't snakes, we probably don't give off the right pheromones. Well, can we dig out some of those pheromones from that nope. thing? That thing is far too much like me. I ain't touching it. I reckon we should get moving. I don't like being in one place for too long. Yeah, I agree. Um, can I? Uh, I I didn't want to ruin the flow, but cannot. Well, well, the doctor is doing an autopsy. I wanted to first aid myself. Can I just quickly yep, make certainly. that roll first now? First aid yourself, and um, if you succeed, you can retroactively then, apply a and then get ready to go. I I think I only get a hit point out of it anyway. I was oh yeah, I get nothing. Uh, I mean, oh no, for you. May I be so bold as to attempt the same? Uh, please go ahead while I set up the next uh, thing. And then we all steady ourselves, I assume, and get ready to delve deeper into this cave. I turn Probably. around and I yeet the rock at this for, and then I run. <laughs> all right. So as you're all leaving, you turn around and you whoop, throw it to the ground. <laughs> yeah. um, TPK. All right. Ah. Um, you do find yourself unconsciously playing with it in your pocket, though. Yeah. You know exactly what it does. Just but be careful with that. You know how to activate it. I'm you careful with it. I ain't going to do nothing. I just think it's interesting. Now, possibly dangerous. <laughs> hopefully. And I enjoy both. The collection of you leave your little fire behind, although it has been uh, brought with you at the stage. Let me just fix that. Um, pick it up and carry it. Pick it up and carry it. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, no, don't we have a torch? We set Griff on fire. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, you, you do have a he wouldn't notice. 
Get rid of the smell. <laughs> or make it Don't much, much worse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and as you're coming round into the uh, uh, the tunnel a little bit deeper, the walls around you begin to change. The smoothness that comes from being in a sort of a natural cavern uh, that has been eroded by the weather starts to become oddly smooth. This thing is beginning to take on an unnatural kind of format. And as you walk through, uh, you almost find your feet, uh, particularly those of you that are wearing heavier boots, uh, slipping across the ground. It's very hard to grip onto anything as you trudge deeper and deeper into this facility. It's also starting to get really hot, stinking hot. Uh, you know, we are, uh, uh, as, 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 as Australians, um, we, we, we have lived for a few 45 degree days, but it hits, it starts to hit into the mid forties as you start to head deeper uh, into this. like a hundred Fs. Yeah. That's a start, lot of Fs. That's a lot of Fs. Hell. Uh, Probably getting close to like 112. 45 is like 114, I think. Yeah, yeah, well, I could give you the exact... Uh, Congratulations, yeah. I, I wouldn't have a clue. It's a man to know the exact temperature All right. <laughs> in Kelvin. 40 uh, Celsius is 104 Fahrenheit. Okay. Yeah, we, we, should, we should give our... Uh, you're right, we should give our temperatures in Kelvin just to make everyone <laughs> irritated. <laughs> no one has fun. Uh, so it is boiling. The heat is pouring down. As you, as you go through, you're kind of looking for the sources of this heat. And then every now and again, you can spot across the tops of this uh small caverns there are what look like metal pipes extending through uh in between the walls and these things just radiate heat as you walk through continuing along you're you're sweating and you start to see all around you uh these tiny little holes most of them too small uh, for anybody to fit in let me ask does anybody have a size of under 50 uh no no, I'm I'm pretty No, good. okay. In which yeah, case, 45. I'm I'm, 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 so, I'm 40. All right, so the two of you could possibly squeeze and wriggle and really just force yourself into one of these little passages. Uh, but at this stage, no, you, 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 there's no more ways out than you're seeing. And you keep heading deeper into this mountain, heading past these strange metal pipes. And eventually you come to a fork in the road that you can see up ahead. Now the pathway at the top appears to lead uh, straight ahead. So at the same level that you are currently at um, and breaks off into um, a set of smaller tunnels that appear to expand out into the distance. You can vaguely see the shapes of more roads rooms ahead the other path appears to ascend sharply maybe leading higher up into the mountain both of them are ahead of you and both of them beckon to you equally but while you're trying to make a decision about which way to go suddenly the scuttling that you heard before greece gets louder and you hear something moving coming through one of those small holes i'd like everybody to make a stealth check if you want to hide otherwise are you leveling guns are you stealth running gang, stealth back gang, stealth are you... gang, stealth gang. what are you doing stealth so, Jamie, Stealth? just to clarify, you were saying that I, I or Matt could possibly squeeze through these small holes. Is yes, that right? yes. The two of you, if you have size of <laughs> under fifty, you have the potential to try and get through. Jamie, I want to ask Might how as well. stupid you think we are that we would go into. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You should. You should. Oh, I keep. I keep bringing it up to you. I could go once we were. I bet you could fit down one of those. <laughs> I promise that nothing will happen if you uh, sneak into one of those holes. All right. Nothing. What? Sorry, <laughs> nothing good will happen. Old you would have done it. I fucking would have. It's like it was made for me. Grace, you definitely shouldn't go down one of those. Holes. I ain't gonna. <laughs> you, I'd hate it. I can Ooh, hear no, something no. coming through it. Everyone, shut the. F get down. I just hide behind the, the the crook in the wall. Not 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 the thing. The, you know what I mean. I I know what yeah. you mean. I, I don't take the bait, is what I'm trying I hide, to say. I hide as well. <laughs> I attempt to hide. But All right. I'm woozy and <laughs> Unlike Blanca, I succeed my check. <laughs> so the majority of you are sort of diving, diving backwards. Oh, um, we ain't doing a good uh, job. You managed to vanish, um, sort of pressing yourself up against the wall and hiding. Grease, uh, I mean, you, you, you hide, and unfortunately, you don't hide inside one of those little uh, tunnels. The rest yeah. of you, though, are just a little too slow. Um, now, if you would like, uh, you can push this roll. And pushing this roll would involve going right up next to the um, 
the 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 wall itself uh doing that thing where if someone's coming into a door you try and quickly hide behind the door which means that if it spots you you'll be right next to it it works in movies. otherwise fling yourself sideways and risk taking some damage as you slam into the ground and potentially like fall over and... look at sorry just quickly look at this i can put little ninja status ninja icons on them I that were it. hidden how cute is that that's very good um <laughs> it's for hilarious rest... Whoosh. i that presume is, that's what that, that means <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's it's what it means now. That's so funny. Uh, I want to move me up here because that's yeah, where I want to be. to move yourselves into where you think just about that you're hiding. Uh, otherwise, the rest of you uh, are going to be caught dead in the center. Would anybody like to push their role? Um, I'd, I'd, I'd like to just throw myself backwards, uh, not trying to hide anymore, but just pulling out my rifle as they do. It's okay, um, so you will start in the space. middle for now just because uh, you, you don't really have time to, to do Very it. good. Um, my instinct is the same. I clearly cannot hide, so I reach for my gun. All right, uh, Joseph. I don't really care. Okay, <laughs> you're you're a Joseph's little lost okay. it, mate. <laughs> a little <laughs> out of it. <laughs> great, die, great. I die free. I'm just like I sh like I probably thought about hiding, realized there was nowhere to hide, and then went. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Uh, yeah, there's nowhere to hide. No, no, well, um, well, what can you do? Such is life. Um, Greece, where are you positioning yourself? Uh, I've uh, put myself with my back to one of the holes, so you know it'll. If something emerges from it, I'll be right next to it and it won't see me. I'm presuming that's what that white thing is there. Is that's the the point it's coming out? Is that right? Uh that is exactly right. Yeah. So I'm, well, I'm that's just to where the it's coming of it. out of. Yep. I'm way up here. <laughs> I want to be. I want to be close to it. I want to be right next to it. Okay. I'll be as far away from it as possible. <laughs> uh, probably a good call. All right. So all of a sudden, um, this little skittering, chattering thing comes bursting out, I appearing should. in the center of the area in front of you. It is free freaky looking it looks like a snake uh but it is halfway between a snake and a person uh it it, it has short stumpy legs and little uh kind of t-rex like arms that come out that end in sharp claws uh its spine appears to be elongated and twisted and you can see what must be its vertebrae poking through its back and uh coming sharply out it must be an agonizing pain uh to, to yeah. have to crawl along the ground and feel its bones scrape against the rock as it goes it has fangs that drip with saliva uh and as it comes out it looks across the collection of you uh, spotting those in front of you and <laughs> begins to chatter slightly immediately it is followed by another one which appears and they look towards you and they are they are shocked now they don't immediately scream or do anything but they continue to and chatter at you i need some kind of reaction what are you all going to do does it look like they could be arrested <laughs> i mean <laughs> snake law get him <laughs> in violation of police snake. Um, <laughs> hands up, snake, snake hands up. <laughs> Most snakes can't put their hands up. Um, uh, I feel like if if these things are not an affront to the laws of man, they are certainly an affront to the laws of God. Do we have a sand check to be spooked? Yeah, you know what? That sounds like an excellent idea. Yes. Thank you for reminding. Oh, th thanks, David. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I want to see if we just go for guns. <laughs> Can I not be spooked? Because I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you, you know what? Are uh, you you yeah? This this is kind of what you're you're, you're just you're of, honestly, it's like, just kind of funny. Uh, yeah, at this point, it's just like <laughs> you let it giggle out. You can't help it. It just escapes uh, from the throat. Do I, I get an like... exemption on this one? Because I'm not um, afraid of blood and gore. Do I get an exemption on this sanity check? This is not blooded. This is not a blood. Yeah, okay. What, what <laughs> does your blood time. look like? <laughs> no, you should be sitting there for sure. At Rachel had her wisdom teeth out and she T Rex for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, cool. Succeeded, everyone, everyone succeeded a bit better. Did we really? <laughs> ah, fuck it. Snakes, whatever. <laughs> those of you who fail can take two points of sanity damage, and those of you who succeed are fine. You take no sanity damage. You've heard of mutated monster snakes. This is what you're expecting yeah. to see, and you managed to uh, keep your cool. And yes, it was Griff. Thank you very it's much. Just Griff. I would like to take the aim action if I can. Okay, so you are raising your gun. They, that aggravates them. They start like. Oh, uh, I'm. No, no, I'm stealth. 
Okay. Oh, oh, you are, aren't you? I rolled. I mean, you, 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 you're oh. welcome to do with whatever. Oh. But I am. I'm trying to aim whilst remaining hidden. No, like absolutely. You are hidden. You are raising. You are carefully tracking these things with your enormous gun, and they are sitting there. They are chittering loudly. They are demanding an answer for those from those of you that are visible, which is uh, Blanca, Joseph, and Mac, respectively. Ah, ah, ah. What are you saying? They're trying to talk to us. They're chittering. They're clattering. You, you, you are. Now, this is this is this. They, they you, you have no idea. They're aggravated or seem to be. In the silence, I, one of the oh yeah, yeah, if you guys, I'm I'm just gonna like raise my gun and just kind of like, uh, but okay. not like. Um, one of them stay back and darts away, heading back into the tunnels. Oh, I don't like that. Um, the other one stays and, kind of, <laughs> and starts to slowly back away, heading towards the mouth of the tunnel, looking towards the collection of you. You can hear the other one scuttling until gradually it fades away God entirely. Fucking... I'm mouthing towards the three of them. I'm like, do something. <laughs> They're all frozen. Yeah. I, sh- <laughs> I inform it that it's threatening a US Marshal. Okay. I, I want to, can I sidestep Jamie to block off its its exit? Um, yes, you absolutely can. So you step through and you block off the exit. I'm I assume reverse. you are now no longer stealth. You are no longer It's. it's I'm like behind it. Yeah. yeah. Shuffle across. Um, now, can I please get uh, your best interpretation of an arresting a snake voice, please, Jackson? Yeah, sell it. Uh, s- sir and or madam, you're threatening a U.S. marshal, and uh, I request that you lay your 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 rib spikes down <laughs> um, under arrest. As- as you begin to sort of stammer out some kind of word, your eyes darting between the creature and Greaser's eyes above you, it continues. And then suddenly you hear its call answered as one comes behind you. And then another one comes behind you. And then Grease, you feel another one tapping against your legs. Oh, fuck off. No, no, no. I shoot it. No, I don't fuck with that. Gun goes off no. and you're going to go into combat. Yeah. Uh, uh. It's like when you're in the... In the water and something goes up against your leg and you've got a gun oh, oh, oh don't even say it <laughs> okay please everybody give me your <laughs> dexterity those of you have ready weapons remember to add 50 to your dexterity value i was I... Hoping, I was i was trying to talk to him because there's no way me and my five hit points are really standing up to a video right you're now. five you should have said oh, something other than you're under eight. arrest <laughs> 18 get on my level that's why I, I hid. I was hidden a corner because I'm on seven health. How many grenades have you None stepped on today? You. None of you asked the doctor to heal you. Griffin, I tried it. We yeah, we're 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 ready to go. <laughs> I'm gonna hell out of this hellscape. You, you were doing an orbital busy. Yeah, you asked Orbidal me to busy. do the, like one of the things that that yeah, fucked but... me up. That's not <laughs> how we do things in the West, real men. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. heal ourselves. You wouldn't people. get it. You're not Real a grizzled old veteran. stand on grenades. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we do. We stand on grenades and then we try to fix ourselves and completely fail. Men. My daddy stood on a grenade. My granddaddy stood on a grenade. God damn it. <laughs> uh, my dex is hella low. I've been lost. My dex is hella high. We've done this. Okay. Did I, um, I mentioned I was getting my gun out. Is that worth a bonus 50? Uh, yes, uh, that, uh, yeah, that's fine. You meant, you mentioned you were getting your gun out. So I believe Greece is first. Oh, I, I believe Jackson 50, and I yeah. are tied for first. Actually. Um, I'm on one ten. What are the other two on? One thirty-five or something. Ooh, never mind. I am third. Hang on, I'm just going to put it in the chat. So it's Grace, then Mac, oh, yeah. oh. then Blanca. What, uh, Doc, what, what was yours? 85 now. Okay, yeah. perfect. All right, I'm going to assume Doc's last. There we go. Yeah. How do you do it? <laughs> Okay. All right, uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot the one that's behind me. <laughs> so this right. is this is literally your gun going up. You feel it press against your oh, leg, and <laughs> just now the tendon at the back of your knee. And yeah. you no, know, and you you your gun flashes out, and bam! Make a firearm check for me. Uh, do I get <laughs> uh, any bonus die for being within point blank? Yes, but and any penalties because it's so. Uh, no, this is your fire. It, it's kind of trapped in the position that it's in, so you have a pretty clear shot. But it is going to try and repost you. What? Well, you're shooting, oh, yeah. and it's diving forward and trying to uh, claw at you. Hang on, I have a bonus die. Yeah. Oh, get that up here. Oh, that's, a, that's an extreme. 
It's an extreme. Okay, it got a hard success. So you dive forward, you feel its claws land on your arm, but the gun goes off and the claws fall limp uh, before, uh, and you, you feel it like stagger backwards before anything happens. How much damage did you do? Uh, so D10 plus two is 12 plus my roll of seven. So 19. 19 damage? Yeah. Dear God. Okay, you fire at this thing and it's you, you, there's a, like a wet thunk as it blows apart behind you. Um, the shot echoes uh, around you, but it's it's dead and slightly by the curved walls. Meanwhile, Mac, what are you doing? Let me get a shot off in the one in front of, in front of me. Please. The one uh, behind you is now dead. Fantastic. So the one in front of Greece, essentially, it goes back. Yes. I've put the skull emote on it. Thank Ooh. you. That's a good emote for enemies. They should yeah. all just have that. I'm getting rid of my ninja. Looks like I just hit it for five. Okay, hit it for five damage. It is going to try and dive at you. Like, you swing your gun towards it, and this thing is close enough that it is going to charge towards you and try and repost you wildly. So it's going to need a hard? Yes. Uh, did you t- add point blank range? Uh, I did not. Does that give me a bonus die? Point of advantage, please. Take it and use it. You will need it. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? So, in fact, that is a 34, which is a hard. Okay, yeah. a 34, which is a hard. And as you fire, it dives forward as well, leaning forward. But you're just a little bit quicker. And as it swipes for you with one of its large talons, the gun goes off. How much damage do you deal again? Five. Five damage to this thing. Blows off a chunk out of its side. Scales and uh, pale white blood. Uh, sort of sprays backwards and you can see you you immediately it occurs to you joseph oh white blood so the pink must have been because the red of human blood was <laughs> and you sort of think this very slowly as there's just chaos and gunshots and grease yelling my leg around you uh as the chaos continues Blanca, shut, up. What are you- shut up is that one in front of grease still alive uh the one in front of grease is still alive yes hell yeah i will Get shoot the that fuck one off me Go ahead, make a firearm check Give for me. Give me one second. Are we close range? Uh, yes, you have. You at close range. You have point blank range with a <laughs> yeah, shot. Yeah, I don't think you could be any closer range. No, <laughs> no, no, right. I'll, it's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll measure it for you. Right, there we go. Ah, eight point five. What are we? Eight point five feet. Okay. And it's. Uh, what is um? Point too blank fucking point close point. to me. Point uh, blank <laughs> range. Me. Point blank is calculated by. It's a fifth uh, of your dex in feet. Yeah, right. you Can I lock that shit? Are you kidding? Uh, you you have it. You you'll have your point blank. You have advantage. Oh, I have advantage. How do I yeah. do a bonus? Sorry, die? you have a bonus die. So uh, click bonus slash bottom. penalty. Bonus and number of dice one. One and then agree to it being a bonus. Submit. Oh, oh not so great. So you can lock it down from seventy one if you would like. Uh, oh, I can use luck in combat. Nah, no, I yes, don't yes, use luck in combat. Yeah, you can. Oh, you can't use luck. You can't push. Oh, yeah. that's right. You can use luck. You can't push. I spent two luck. To make it okay. Success. All right. The gun goes off firing. You hit me with your damage, which I believe is 46 on a shotgun blast. 15. Hot oh, dog. Old. Uh, 15 the, damage. The, the gunshot blows this thing apart. Um, bullets oh, yeah, smack does. around you, uh, Grace, because you were directly in the line of fire behind it. Sorry. I've uh, never uh, been uh, showered by flakes of rock. Um, but a second later, um, uh, you can just hear the echoing yells, and you're glad that at least one of these things appears to be entirely and oh, utterly. James, dead. I'm thrilled to say it dead. Okay, yeah. I'm glad to hear. Thrilled yeah, a bit. News. Griff. Um, now, I used the aim action last time, but everything that I would have aimed at is now dead. <laughs> yes. So I'm, I assume. I it... don't think that your aim action is going to carry over. All right. I would like to flick across to one of these ones that's just arrived right over there. Maybe that one right there. And I would like to aim at it. Okay. Uh, So you turn and aim carefully. Um, uh, Tracking one. Now, do you want to aim at the front one or the back one? Uh, I don't think I can see the back one. So logically, I think I'd have to do the front one. Okay. Just based on that positioning. I, I I don't think the back one I can see properly. Great. All right. So you're aiming carefully, tracking along the barrel of your enormous gun. Uh, Joseph. This is a little weird, but then suddenly your mind clicks and, oh my god, oh my god, you're in the middle of a fight. These monsters are everywhere. What, what are you going to do? Oh, we can't hear you, I'm afraid. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I just did something and decided to mute. Uh, yeah, I'm going to find cover. Okay. I do not fight. I've said that a few times already. Yeah, um, there's so been a murder start... between now and then. <laughs> you got back with that direction, I'm assuming. Ain't the same as fatten. Yeah. 
risky uh, line to take with a marshal in presence. <laughs> <laughs> Less risky when you're the only one who can patch him up again. That's um, true. I'm uh, just back away a little from from what's going on. So if if I am the one at the back, then that's where I'm. Going. All right, perfect. So you're backing. You feel yourself press up against the wall, and as you do, you can feel everything uh, vibrating slightly. The wall is um, uh, continuing to uh, shake and shimmer. And a second later, uh, these creatures are just going to launch themselves forward. One of them is going to dive straight for Blanca, uh, ripping and tearing and yelling. Uh, the other one is going to strive straight for. Uh, Mac, the two people who have both fired and who have both done damage. Neither of them can see you, uh, Grease. Now, a second later, uh, more shapes continue to emerge. Oh, and all of a sudden, oh, uh, no. there is a horde of these things oh, no. charging towards oh, you. Nice. And then, um, uh, faintly, uh, in the distance, uh, you begin to hear the th hum uh, that has been sort of going through the whole facility on and off, on and off, suddenly go verb 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 as if an alarm <laughs> sounding throughout <laughs> the entire what? mountain verb 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 <laughs> it is the the beep All test right, is a standardized a test for <laughs> 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 oh. run run <laughs> <laughs> uh, run back Evacuate run again <laughs> is that is that flashbacks in reference i is that i never remembered doing them in the states so i think it might just yeah be i think thing. it's an aussie reference uh, there's there's a there's a u.s equivalent but it's called something i can't remember what it's called yeah it's our it's our, our standardized running test where you run in between yeah. two points see how, fat you are. see how far you go the answer for me was always very fairly yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey james oh, yeah. point of clarification do these things all look gross in the same way or are they kind of unique no, each one of them has their own little unique trait. One of them has a giant long tooth that drips down in front of the yeah. others. Uh, another one has one really good working arm, but its legs are sort of gone and it kind of slithers across the ground. They are they are all mutated yeah. in their own unique and special way. One of them appears to have the giant venom plants that are pulsating this sort of vile green and purple pus that dribble out of its mouth. It's not a great look. Um, I need a dodger repost check from the two of you. Which are you going to go with? Dodger repost. Uh, at five hit points, I'm going to dodge. Okay. Good call. And what about yourself, Blanca? Repost, I need to beat them by one, right? And dodge, Repost, just need, you need to, to beat. Yeah, you need to beat the degree that they're doing. So if they get a regular success, you need a hard success. If they get a hard success, you need an extreme success. Um, dodge, you just need to equal them. In other I'm words, if you dodge, you Hell win the yes. tie. If you repost, you lose the tie. Because yep. my, my firearms is exactly double my dodge, so I have approximately yep. Yep. double the chance of succeeding. Oh, yeah. It's like approximately equal, so I may as well repost. And also a higher yeah. chance of a success three or yeah. critting or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I repost. Okay, so the attack coming first onto Mac is going to be for Ooh. a failure. Uh, so you uh, dive off to the side, you are feeling okay. Now, did you roll your dodge already? I have not yet, would you like me to? Yes, please do. And could you roll your repost for me, uh, Blanco? <laughs> more suspense that way i think okay so you just leap aside from this thing and it slams into the walls you're tracking it with your rifle meanwhile uh blanca you try and raise your gun up you fire a shot uh shrapnel goes everywhere uh and it scares this thing enough uh for it to oh that's the wrong skill it doesn't have because that looks like a pretty good roll <laughs> uh, okay i was like all right so we're gonna we're gonna ignore that i press the wrong button it's gonna roll with its real skill and it dives forward and Misses you. Ah. <laughs> Thank God you're okay for now. <laughs> um, so this thing is now um, uh, screaming towards you. We're going to go back to the top. There are more of these creatures now. They're all attacking. The alarm is sounding all throughout the facility, and it is starting to shake, and the heat is increasing. Up to the top, Greece, what are you going to do? Uh, if I think back to when we got exploded... Yes. What kind of area of exploding was that? Um, like uh, a this whole place explode, or like a those like a five lizards explode. <laughs> there we uh, go. <laughs> uh, you those five lizards would explode. Okay. Uh, I I pull out the egg and I'm gonna yell, I'm gonna send you back to hell by your own hand, and then chuck the egg, and I'm gonna chuck it at this, eh, that one. Yep. Perfect. 
All right, so you reach forward, uh, you bring the egg, you yell, you throw it, and I'm not even going to make you make a throw check because as you throw, it suddenly bursts apart. And you're disappointed for a second. Uh, But then the smoke and the sort of uh, shape of the thing bursting apart rushes back towards you and coalesces around your arm, coating your entire body, and suddenly you are surrounded by a shimmering (laughs) shield of energy that seems to push things away from you. Little bits of rocks and pebble are like flying away from you. And you are covered in some kind I'm of I'm Sailor energy. Moon. <laughs> I have a transformation sequence. Did you just become <laughs> Iron Man? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so, I ship one. You, all right. Uh, so you, you, you are. So that was your turn, yeah, but you're yeah, now yeah. covered in this. Uh, okay. Uh, cool. Noted. Shielding thing. Um, <laughs> um, awesome. <laughs> now, since you did get an extreme success with uh, on on your spot hidden for this, I'm not going to make you play around for this. This thing is armor. Uh, you now have five points of armor um, uh, against any attack. <laughs> Um, uh, can so can I still move then? Can I still move? Yeah, you, you, you can move exactly as you would normally. It, right. it weighs nothing. It is uh, well, uh, a hard dragon scale, but it's right. as light as a feather. So, I mean, I, I told them I was going to send them to hell and I intend to follow through. So I will run forward into the melee to protect Mac. So, okay. yeah, I'll, I'll try and I'm, I'm just going to kind of wedge myself in there. Perfect. So you if possible, in. hang on. Can I do this? Is this? I want to kind of go for a this, if that's okay. That's my goal. Kind of getting in between those front two and and yep, and the yep. two that are at the the foremost. If that's all right. That is. You know what? Uh, that is totally fine. Thank you, James. I appreciate your that's leniency. Okay. No worries. We'll 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 figure out something. <laughs> um, meanwhile, uh, the as these things are charging forward, Grease dives in. Mac, what are you doing? Backing away uh, and cracking off another shot. All right, you take Hell a few yeah. steps backwards, fire another shot, targeting the uh, one that attacked you. Sure, that seems as good as any. Go ahead, make a roll with a die of bonus uh, for your point blank range. Mm, that looks like a regular success, okay. but it might just be. Uh, <gasps> he uh, tricked uh, you. I, I got, I got you. Got you good. Hard success. Uh, this this thing bad. is is too far away to repost you because you've taken a few steps back uh, and it's not going to dodge because it would lose its next turn to do so. If you dodge a firearms check, you have to throw yourself sideways and you lose a turn. So instead, it decides to take the shot so it can focus on attacking Grease. Just roll your damage straight away. You have hit it. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, I've, I've hit the wrong one and I've rolled, the, rolled my skill instead of the weapons. I've done it all to calculate. That's, that's just, that's just wow. not good enough. I apologize. Wow. Me. Wow. 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 Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Guest actor, uh, Owen Wilson. <laughs> Owen Wilson. <laughs> Just a measly five once more. Okay. Oof, that was, um, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be disparaging, but that was bad rolls there. <laughs> uh, I rolled five last time as well. I, 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 oh, wow. It's it consistent. This is the one with the long tooth, and you hit it in the tooth and shoot off the the, the bottom of its fang. Uh, blood spurts out from the middle of the bone or um, uh, calcium shard, whatever it is, and it turns towards you, hissing, uh, spurting blood out uh, as it furiously continues to attack. Um, Lenka. Alrighty. Uh, I would just like to shoot the one that's closest to me. <laughs> All right. Um, um, I can see that's like the one that's like next to Grease. Uh, yes, absolutely. So you spin yeah. around uh, and you crack off a shot. Now, uh, something has been redeemed in our chat, a push your luck for shotgun. Uh, so you, uh, <laughs> Who could uh, have done was, such a thing? Uh, I don't know. I thought we thing. made a rule. Where... <laughs> I thought we all agreed. <laughs> uh, I, I think <laughs> I, I've read the terms and conditions. <laughs> Nothing says a dog can't play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> so make a firearms check if you succeed you won't have to push indeed uh, okay. now you have you have point blank range um, yeah yeah but you are firing into a uh, battlefield uh, so you are just uh-huh. <laughs> it's happening <laughs> okay you if you I, shot- I, i'm fine if you nix it <laughs> you don't have a no gun. fuck it i don't care i got 18 hit points <laughs> also, like, oh, you- also i think it's hitting you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Are you putting yourself in danger here? Yeah, right? you, it's not a malfunction. It's not a malfunction yet. Uh, <laughs> you uh, so you have to push this roll. Yep. 
Um, uh, you can't get a clear shot. The only way you could do it is to put Greece in danger of being hit. And you feel fine about that. <laughs> for, for some, some reason. reason. Okay, you know what? No, I don't feel fine about that. But I make the call. It's either we all die to the snakes or Greece dies to the snakes. Yeah, I got, I got so he's covered in this shimmering armor thing. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, he's armor. also got armor. What does armor actually do, by the way? I, I didn't want to ask. absorbs damage. Reduces uh, damage. <laughs> This armor. Well, why don't you fire the shot? No, it's okay. I'll yeah, fire. Yeah, I'll fire the goal. shot. I don't. No. I failed again by one point. <laughs> I mean, because it's a pushed roll, you can't lock it. I can't lock it because you I failed by it. one point because I have sixty nine in the skill. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm well, let's test this armor. Uh, I may roll, have just killed myself. <laughs> uh, roll forty six of damage. I already did 17. Oh, this is way less funny than it was a second ago. <laughs> okay. Champion. Uh, you dive Champion. Full slam into you. Now, I said five points of armor earlier. Yeah. I was wrong. Uh, yeah. It is not five points of armor. And canonically, you can check, you, you can. You can find out that I'm telling the truth uh, by getting a copy of your own uh, Shadows Over Still Water. Yeah. If you look on page 10 at the armor crystal, uh, or pause this video, or I don't know, check it. It actually has more armor than that. So it's okay. Good. Okay, uh, good. Is it 17? So the point was, he was underselling us to begin with. He was yeah. like, ah, I've Soft. got this. I'll only give them five armor. These guys don't deserve the full. So you actually have 10 armor, which is Ooh. better. Not enough. <laughs> Not <laughs> I mean, you're still gonna take damage here. All right. Uh, yeah. Now, so... how, how about this? How about this, uh, uh, Grace? Um, yep. Your pulp talent is that you can throw yourself sideways to dodge incoming firearms. Yeah. It's what you do, and you apply when you dodge an incoming firearm, you apply disadvantage to it. So what you see Blanca trying to shoot, you can throw yourself sideways, and by applying disadvantage, we will give Blanca one more reroll. I tell you what, Jamie, I I will do so, and I have learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I won't Good. I won't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Blanca. I'm gonna be. I'm really sorry if this goes poorly. <laughs> it's completely my fault. <laughs> oh, it's a hard <laughs> success. Yes. <laughs> so, um, uh, you managed to dive oh, sideways God. with the careful use of your pulp talent at just the right moment. You do land in the middle of the melee, but then a second later, the one in front of you explodes oh, and man. as these things gaze down towards you <laughs> and lean in. Now, uh, next up is... Oh my God, where are my notes? I've moved everything around. Um, uh, uh, Griff. Yeah. Uh, Luckily, I think that one was the one I aimed at. So yep. finally, I'm going to get to shoot. Let's do this. Boom! Take a shot. Um, All right. Uh, I go to the combat section of my thing. I roll my weapon. It is immediately a success. I add a bonus dice to it for my aim. And I get... Ooh. No. Take okay, the first. It's just a regular success. A regular success, which is how much damage? Eight, because I rolled a one, a four, and a three. Good job. <laughs> okay, eight with the damage already dealt to it by the marshal is enough to move that one off the field as well. Suddenly, the bodies of these things are beginning to litter the area, and they look a we lot less got confident. This. Doc, you are leaning back. You're pressing yourself against the wall. Uh, the heat is sweltering around you, and you start to hear uh, in the distance the sounds of sort of yelling and gibbering and everything. And in the state that you are, you know, uh, there's some optional rules in Call of Cthulhu that I like including, uh, which basically say that if you're in a certain state altered by certain substances, uh, you can find Mexico? yourself... Uh, <laughs> uh, if you're in, yeah, exactly. What if have you, they got in New Mexico that have never anywhere else? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I've been to New Mexico, a lovely place. Um, uh, <laughs> you, uh, feel, you, 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 but uh, the optional rule in Call of Cthulhu is that when you're under the effect of certain substances, you can find yourself more open to the mythos. So as you start to hear this alarm uh, over the gunshots and over the yelling, you start to hear this strange shrieking in another language. It's crackling, and it, it seems to be the same thing that these snakes were speaking. This is a a a, a, a parcel tongue moment. I would like you to make for me an intelligence test. Do I want to succeed or fail this? 
Let's uh, find out. <laughs> there'll be benefits and negatives to both. You're a doctor, yeah. Joseph. All right. Well, With a success, you are going to take a hard success. You are going to take two points of sanity damage. You're not immune to this. This is going to pass any immunities that you have. Yay. Um, you are also going to add a new skill to your character sheet called Narkal, the language of the serpent people. And you can add that at a beginning value of 1d4. Ooh. All right. Uh, spelling, please. Um, I'll give it to you in just a second because I don't want to spell it wrong. I'll have to look up exactly where it is in the book. But first of all, let's finish the rest of this combat. So two of these creatures, the ones at the back, seeing the battle going the wrong way, turn and begin to flee, heading off, escaping into facility. You can hear more yelling, more skittering. It appears that the forces inside this place are assembling. The heat yeah. is getting hotter. Um, preparations are being made. The one that is left furiously dives towards you, uh, Greece, uh, determined to get some kind of damage against you. Can I get a dodger riposte roll, please? Yep. Uh can I repost my gun or do I just yeah absolutely I think because it's a pistol you can I so. got it there to be used you can, you can I'll shoot it, him alright uh, bam alright yeah. and it gets a failure <laughs> so it dives forward Enjoy uh, bullets. You one of your, your armored arms forward and it like chomps on it dealing no damage you press the gun against its head and fire make a damage roll for me eight eight uh this one had low health, so that's going to be enough. Uh, you blow this thing away. It vanishes as it... Well, it doesn't vanish. The token vanishes, but the creature lands on the ground. Rah! You writhe. Um, and for a couple of seconds, you're all alone, uh, panting. As up ahead, you start to hear trundling footsteps and the sound of more of these armored... Uh, buzzing noises, the same noise that appeared when uh, Grease activated his crystal humming to life. And then a terrifying, deep, hissing voice echoes through the uh, halls towards you. And it says, humans, you will not be permitted to leave. Surrender, and your deaths will not be in vain. You will work towards the great project. And I think we'll take a break just there. <laughs> Thanks, okay. everybody, for joining us. We'll be back in 10 minutes. See you again soon. Uh. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Stream of Chaos. When we left last, our investigators were hunkered down after having defeated some serpent creatures, but the facility that they were in, the strange mountain, was blaring off alarms. More adversaries were rushing towards them, and a voice had said, human, surrender, and offered them a bargain that they would be given a quick death if they agreed to be part of the great project. Now, the collection of you are alone. Uh, some of you are sort of like covered in gore from these snakes, Other of you, others of you are covered in glimmering shields uh, you're all wielding weapons the smell of gunpowder is thick in the air griff you are jamming in a new cartridge into your enormous weapon uh, you can hear uh, up ahead there is a uh, position uh, being set up you know there, there, there more movement more chaos what do you want to do sorry very quickly oh, Just... sorry, sorry very quickly oh, no. I, I, asked, I asked a question and then immediately said oh and but i'm gonna like, fire along anyway there are a couple of small tunnels that head off from this area and I sort of alluded to them by the branch that's up ahead, but specifically everybody, there are two tunnels that appear to be heading uh, uh, further down or uh, laterally, one that heads sort of deeper into the mountain and other one, uh, others that appears to be heading directly down. The others all appear to be heading directly up and there's four or five of them, but all of those have the sounds of combatants coming from them. So sorry, Jim, it's it's where we went in and then it looks like there's a branch that goes up and a branch that goes down. Is that right? Uh, basically, yes. But they break off into further branches. So the one yeah, that goes yeah, the general, general direction. direction. Yes, exactly. Um, what I wanted clarification on is, does this, now that I've got a second out of combat, what what has happened to me? Is this, it isn't my skin that's been changed. It doesn't seem like it's going to end. Yes, uh, even as you look at it, it is, it is slightly beginning to fizzle out. This is a temporary kind of like, this is like, this is like, uh, I activate armor, zoom, and it will last for a while and cool. then slowly fade. Okay. You probably got it for a little bit longer, but not for too long. Y'all heard that voice as well. That wasn't just in my head. No, I yeah. heard it. What did it say again? Something about a project and one I'm not real keen on being involved in. 
But they, they speak English. They We can talk with them. Might be that we can actually get some answers on what's happening or find someone who's intelligent enough to, you know, be punished for what's happened. I don't much like that. I don't think they're here to talk. I think we get away, regroup as best we can. And I mean, we can't, what's going on. we can't go back the way we came. And, and those fellows was fleeing. How can we try and find out what the hell's going on? Also, we got to hold them accountable. So the voice echoes down. Oh, again. oh no! Interrupting your conversation. Make I'm it so stop. Sorry. I'm so no. sorry. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. We hear your tongues wagging. Answer, or you will be incinerated. Well, sir, can't no one threaten a U.S. marshal here on out here on federal land? You just give us another minute to talk about ourselves, and we'll decide exactly when and if we surrender anything to anybody um I'm, I'm intimidating them yeah, that was very yeah. intimidating make an intimidate check with a bonus In, die absolutely like, oh, that is your talent. talent you stand forward and you summon up all the authority now this will be a hard check yeah that sounds fair i i am surprised it's only hard all right well, that's a just a regular success regular success Ooh. Oh, boy. Take that, Snake Man. <laughs> I think they were just bluffing. I don't think they can kill us at all. Um, you so now the you are deep inside these things territory, and they do not like you being here. So they're not exactly going to let you just waltz around or waltz out. But you're definitely giving them pause. They do not appear to be approaching. And they do not appear to be yelling quite as much. After a long, drawn-out 20 seconds in which it takes every ounce of your intimidating effort to just hold the line and not say anything else or not back down or not look away, uh, you finally hear a response. And the response says, The marshal is your leader. Whoever hands him over will be spared. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I can't tell with Blanca. I step <laughs> next to Mac just in case. <laughs> and I make it real clear we're not playing that game. Yeah. Go on then. Did you say there was one tunnel that, that did not seem to have anything coming up towards it? You said there was another tunnel where something's come towards us. There's yeah, basically where there is not. one of the branches, and this is where all of the tunnels appear to be leading higher up, um, they all have creatures that are, or sounds that are coming from it. The other tunnel appears to lead uh, a little further down, and that one does not appear to have things coming from it, at least not that you can tell at this stage. Is there any way we can tell which direction the earthquakes were coming from? They surely down surely would be my so. instinct, but yeah. it, it's it's possible that something is is at the top of the mountain. I'm gonna let you make that as an instinctual call. I don't think that you are able to. You, it, it's coming from the gotcha. mountain. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah. It's... Listen, we, we had to clamber up a mountain to get up here. So if we go down, there may be a you know a, an opening or something. Also, when we spoke to the others that mentioned you know snake and such, I think they were saying they were in a valley. So, most likely, down will give us exit. And also, it seems that ain't the way these creatures are coming from. I propose we go deeper down. We just ignore the the talking man? Well, my uh, colleagues briefly considered your kind offer there, but it's pretty clear they're going to decline. We're intending to bring the uh, justice of the... United States Justice Department on your heads. We'll be down shortly to see you. Or we'll be up shortly to see you, is what I meant to say. There is a we're going down. for a second. You Ooh, will cut our defenses unassailable. <laughs> Ready the barricades. <laughs> they have barricades. Can we get a psychology check? Because it sounds like they're just making this up as they go along. Uh, make a psychology check. Go Snakes ahead. can't build. They don't have hands. Well, they, even if they do, they were little and cute baby hands. Hard success. <laughs> Incredibly determined in, in, in what they're saying. You don't really think that they kind of have the conception to, 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 to lie about this at this point. They, you know, they, they're, they're threatening you. This is a combat. Um, they're not exactly being super crafty here. What you do pick up, though, is that they are, they're a little bit unsure about how dangerous you are. 
Um, so that is possibly something that you can play into. They all they don't appear to know how many of you there are. They don't appear to. Um, yeah, so so they're a little uncertain, and you could possibly use that to your advantage. Are their voices just echoing up the tunnel to us, or are they like loudspeakers? No, they are just yelling. Okay. Oh, they're just yelling. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was some sort go, of. Go, go. <laughs> My bad. I thought it was some sort of like psychological in our head. No, no, they're just uh, around I, the corner, uh, being like, "We will, we yeah. will come get 100%, you. Come find us." I had imagined like a snake PA. I'm getting, I'm getting some like strong, stupid Dalek vibes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. All right, let's kill some. Marshall, I think we go, I think we go in there and we take him down. But ultimately, this is your call. You're, you're uh, the marshal here. You and I are pretty beat up here, Griff. We I make agree. him think we're coming to meet him, but let's go further down, so we can't get a chance to lick our wounds first. All right. Uh, well, let's scare him off then. And I aim down the hallway where they are, and I fire. <laughs> uh, but now, now for people who are just joining us, can you please describe your weapon, Griff? Yeah, my my weapon is like it's it's a buffalo rifle, which is essentially like an elephant gun. It's like a massive gun design. Like it is it is a fi- sharps fifty caliber. It is a huge gun that makes a massive sound and takes ages to reload. But that's another thing. Um, <laughs> anyway. So it, it, it is loud as I fire it down the hall, like an explosion. All right, there's echoing noise. And for, and everyone jumps for a little bit. Um, a second later, you hear a snake voice yell out something uh, in a different language. Um, now, you, you, uh, uh, you get the sense that it's probably something along the lines of, return fire! And a second <laughs> later, you hear these loud sort of, like... Oh, I want um, to test my skill, uh, Go ahead, make, it, make a get check. Get that 4%. Oh, yeah, 4%. Fumble, 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 fumble. Narco. Narco. Did that work? Did you? Uh, nothing's come through. I don't think. Uh, no, nothing yet. Nope. Okay. Being dumb. Never mind. I'm I think it's because I think it's because you're in edit with... mode. Here, try now. No, I'm not in edit mode. I just um. That's weird, because... There we go. Ooh, oh, there we oh. go. Oh, a failure. 12 Ooh, points of luck. You can lock that. It's lockable. But, but I can't... I can't <laughs> you don't get the tick. I can't boop it. And I'm yeah. all about the boopable skills. All about the boop. Oh, don't get me wrong. The boop is where you do this. Yeah, yeah. So, it's... Yeah, you, you hear them yell something. It's probably along the lines of, you know, fire, attack or something. A second later, they unleash a salvo. It sounds a lot less dramatic. They appear to be using some sort of high-tech weapons. You can actually see beams of light firing along an impact on a rock around the corner from you. Uh, but they don't sound cool. It's a little more like... Pew, 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 if I don't come out of this with a laser fire, gun, I'm going to be so pissed. Fire. The collection of laser we now scared them off a little bit. Turn, and you start hurrying down, uh, taking a uh, sharp uh, left and heading into the tunnels that head deeper down below. Now, we're going to jump into some of these rooms uh, on the map uh, when we actually get to them. For now, we're going to stay where we are. And could I uh, just get you, uh, please, Grease, to track this movement on the map as we go through? Just to make mm-hmm. sure everyone knows where we are. Sure. All right. So you take along the the, the the left-hand branch and you begin to move for, uh, deeper in. Um, almost immediately, you come to another fork. This one has a pathway that appears to lead back towards where the walls are less smooth and they are more jagged and more natural. And that path continues for quite a while. It seems like your instincts are correct and it seems to lead away, but you do realize that these are small tunnels, tiny little bits, and they appear to be heading uh, back towards the mesa and in the wrong direction of town. This might be an exit, but it's probably one that is going to take you on a massive loop rather than getting you back to exactly where you need to be. The other pathway leads deeper down into the facility and the walls are particularly smoother. And also the heat is just a little less oppressive as you get further down. So it's actually quite nice to go to. You want to head further down that way? We want to stop for fresh air and... We got them on the run. I say we just keep going. I agree. Well, all right. We want to find out what's causing this disease, don't we? Okay, so you tear forward and you can head down this passage until suddenly you emerge in a large room. And as you look around, it's empty, so you don't need to be panicked, and you can still hear kind of distant pew, pew, 
yelling and uh, some kind of chaos. You have a few more seconds or maybe minutes if you're lucky. The room that you are in appears to be some kind of research facility. You get flashbacks, Joseph, to when you were working uh, at the university. You, what was the medical college that you attended? John Hopkins University. I, I thought so, yes, John yeah. Hopkins. Except this is obviously a little more uh, uh, disturbing. There are large wooden beds crafted with leather straps put in for holding down uh, people. And you can see all kinds of surgical equipment that surrounds the area. Rough hewn shelves have been placed across the walls. And each of these contain these small tiny vials of odd chemicals of all kinds of various types. Um, uh, each one weirder and uh, more viscous or bubbly or colorful than the last. Um, there is a another pathway that leads um, deeper down, uh, and there is also off to one side uh, another small room which looks like it's locked with a, a small wooden door that has been placed. What would you like to do? I'm gonna grab some vials. All right, you walk over and you start picking up vials and just placing them into your bag. Do you want to stop and take a look at any of these? Um, no, my plan's to kind of grab as many as I can. All right. <laughs> You are just. Um, I can make it. I was gonna say I can make a quick like. I'll take a glance to see if there's anything of interest that I can understand, and if I can't, then I'll just grab stuff. You can make a pharmacy check. Ooh. Have as much as you like, Doc. But after that, we're gonna start smashing. Yeah. If you ask me, we should smash the whole thing. But no. Nah. Um. How many points of luck is that to make that a success? I Thirteen, forget. I reckon. Uh, yeah. 13. Uh, you, you also don't need to know what they are. Like this, yeah. This is the, yeah so you're, I'll you're, try again later. No time. You, you, you grab a, a handful of a couple of different colored vials. And then as you step back, um, uh, you know, do, do, the, do the collection of you want to start trashing stuff, knocking it down? Uh, yeah. If we can do that safely, so we're not inhaling any fumes, that's probably the best thing. Just, I mean, just you, put up your... <laughs> Yep, you've got your, you've all got masks on you, like responsible uh, folk from the Wild West, and you start <laughs> to uh, uh, smash oh, relevant. Uh, uh, oh, all fuck. Of this, uh, um, uh, knock it to the ground, uh, stomp a couple of things. Uh, the bottles break across the ground, but with your masks on, uh, you're not inhaling anything. Uh, uh, one of you can give a solid kick to one of the uh, sort of surgery tables or, uh, and, and um, uh, knock it down. Uh, the room is pretty thoroughly trashed. Um, uh, it, 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 we want to do it thoroughly. We want to make sure. Well, I'm assuming this stuff is what's making the tents work go bad. We um, don't want to, want to miss anything. Sure. Okay. So you're going to properly start destroying this area. Now, remember, there is another tunnel leading down, and there is a small wooden door off to the side. Um, but for the minute, you're just smashing everything that you you get. Uh, Grease. Does it does it smell remotely of what was it? Rosemary that we oh, yeah, yeah, because it had a distinctive true. smell. Can we smell that? No, you can't smell rosemary. In fact, you feel pretty safe saying that this is this is something different. This is not what is causing the sickness. Um, so, what is this place? We're not sure. I mean, we 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 saw what they were. I mean, those things we killed. I don't know what they were, but maybe they're created as well from something. I mean, it could be a whole series of dark experiments. Um, Up to no good. That's all we need to know now. Just out of interest, and I, I don't think it's going to have any relevance. Um, the surgery tools were there. Were they just standard? Like I recognize them, or were there any that I was like, "Well, that's weird." Uh, you recognize some of them, but there are absolutely some bizarre ones, like uh, things that, as you guess, must be like descalers or defangers or uh, bizarre tools that would only be suited towards the physiology of a servant. Okay. Fucking lizards. Do we want to um, go I'll have a look at the the door? Yeah, that's exactly. I was about to just walk over and do it, but yeah, um, you. It is locked uh, with a, uh, but it looks pretty flimsy. A locksmith test or a strength test? Uh, would... I'd like to make a strength test. Please go Ooh. ahead. Uh, I would like to use my pulp talent, strength of an ox. I roll twice. Oh my god, amazing! You got the strength of an show ox. Me, 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 me. Oh yeah, he's the size of an ox. So. All right, Griff, you shoulder this thing, it shatters, and you stagger forward, barging through. Um, and as you look around, um, you realize that this appears to be some kind of storage facility. There's a lot more of these chemicals along the sides, but directly in front of you uh, are a couple of sets of long, um, 
basically fireworks that have been repurposed with large chemical canisters along the side. These are oh, almost yeah. certainly the rockets. <laughs> and just as you walk in, uh, the smell begins to permeate the uh, air around you. You are absolutely certain that this is what you were looking for. The rosemary is strong. Found it, Marshall. Is strong. <laughs> the rosemary is strong with this one. <laughs> Uh, make sure lamb nothing's left. leads to rosemary. Rosemary <laughs> leads to roast. Well, no, I, I am with the rosemary, and the rosemary is with me. <laughs> um, you can you can destroy most of those, but I I am absolutely taking a sample of one. Yeah, yes, if that's what you want to do. I well, Doc may have a way to cure whatever's happening to them folks. We need the edge we can get. Yeah, we'll right. stop poisoning them, then we'll stop dying. Uh, well, again, I'm fine with it. We're just going. You're taking you take one of the samples, um, and then uh, the rest of you want to uh, smash these. Yeah, I said to hey, smash. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We should be careful with these ones. If we need to come back this way, and the whole thing's you know reeking or whatever that mind wiping stuff is, just maybe close the door and then just don't light them or anything. Only smashing, if, right? If, uh, if we need uh, masks again, I do have i think it's carbolic acid which was gonna stink up and probably like not be very nice but it'll stop us smelling it yeah so you could use good. That. um you could also shut uh, the door sorry That's you can shut the door to tick the lock unfortunately the door is now in splinters all right oh yeah hmm. i'm just why we may not want to come back this way is all i think it's That's a risk on his voice and i just get to it I get to smash him. <laughs> All right, I smash. It takes a couple of moments, and then you 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 smash this place pretty thoroughly. By the time you reemerge after having properly taken care of it and making sure that you're getting away from whatever noxious fumes you might have ignited, um, you can hear that the noise upstairs appears to have stopped. The folks above appear to have realized that you have moved, and they're almost certainly on the hunt. As you all head away. Doc, you spot another small section of the storage area, and you see that it is covered. Uh, first of all, down the bottom, there's a couple of um, standard uh, mundane human tools, a couple of uh, revolvers, um, some leather straps, um, some various uh, standard goodies. But there is also what look like a small set of metal tablets, and each of them appears to contain very small sections of, of writing in a language you don't understand all across it. These could be could be books or records or something. And there's probably a lot of knowledge contained in them. The thought occurs to you as you are going to walk out and the others are getting back into the room and looking towards the other passage that leads further down. How big are they? They're probably about, each one's probably about this big. You know, uh, they're sizable, these sort of large metal uh, blocks uh, covered with thin writing. Kind of in the shape of, uh, they're oddly shaped, more sort of like triangles put together. Right. Um, how many of them could I easily carry? Uh, three, maybe. And there's probably about 20, 30. And they're not, like, stored in anything I can sling over my shoulder or anything, I assume? No, no, they just appear to be these solid, flat hunks of metal. I'll grab three, then. Throw them and you grab what you get. You're properly loaded up now. You've got sort of one under each arm, one filling your satchel, and you're holding the other. Uh, but you hurry forward, uh, rejoining the others, um, just as everybody gets into the uh, central area. Looking back, there's the pathway heading up. You could continue to follow. There's the pathway heading further down. Otherwise, there are still some of those smaller tunnels off to the side. <laughs> you can try and sneak into one. I mean, it can't hurt go, that much. Go to hell. <laughs> no. I can't, so it's irrelevant to me. Um, let's just continue the way we were going then. All right, further down. The collection of you head deeper and deeper, and as you go, you realize that you're finally stepping away from some of the heat properly. Uh, you're getting to almost a cold area, or at least it feels cold. It's probably still in the uh, uh, mid-30s, uh, but Oof. it is a relief as you get away from that stinking heat that has been following you from the entirety of your journey inside this place. You get towards the bottom of the area and begin to uh, uh, look around, and you emerge into another large room. This room is a prison room. Across one side is a set of cages with 
thick, heavy steel bars. And inside you can see a collection of these uh, sort of deformed serpents. But these serpents appear to be less deformed than others. They stand taller. Their arms are, are longer. Uh, they, they appear almost more humanoid. Um, and they look out angrily and, and seem panicked and start to hiss and spit. On the other side, there are another set of cells. Uh, but inside this one, there are people humans and a couple of them get up and look towards you um one of them uh looks incredibly happy to see you there it's sort of this uh larger pot-bellied older man um who's wearing dirty clothes but still somehow looks he like uh, sort of like everyone's sort of charming uncle leans up reaches his hand through the bars and starts yelling hello Hello, friends. Hello. Uh, you're, you're, you're from Stillwater. Go, you've got to come over here, please. I, I, I have been greatly inconvenienced by these creatures. All right. Well, you just keep your voice down and tell us what happened. Oh, oh, gosh. I'm sorry. Well, well uh, what, what happened? Well, well, uh, well uh, where, where do I begin? The other, a couple of the other humans are getting up and starting to look out. Uh, one or two of them are not. Um, uh, as you gaze across, they seem to be sort of from uh, all types. There's a child amongst them. Um, uh, there is also uh, someone who looks like um, they might be one of the Chiricahua Apache who's kind of leaning out and gazing towards you. Um, one of you, uh, are, are you, sorry, are you checking these people out or are you all going for the conversation, basically? Just give me a brief idea. Um, they're in a cage. I'm a doctor. What do you think yep. I'm doing? Yeah. I'm going to start looking them over as much as I can. Okay, so you're going over the entire row looking people over. Meanwhile, the rest of you sort of draw in. Um, this uh, person kind of um, leans forward and says, uh, well, my name is uh, Jameson Burnwell Cobb. Uh, uh, you all can call me James if you would like. That's uh, what my friends tend to do. And what is my story? Well, uh, I was, I, 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 I'm, I'm, a, I'm a salesman and I was uh, riding along the caravan pack with all kinds of goods. I hadn't just passed the water. You see, I sell all kinds of sundry affairs general goods and the saw mostly leather goods i get some good deals from my, my brother for that and he continues to pontificate at length um and then after about 30 seconds he said all of a sudden i was uh well i was captured and had the the most horrible indignities inflicted upon me well don't go light in the details we want to know what they're doing down here son well uh, uh what, what what i should say appears to be um uh, experimentation uh, if I dare say so, and, and my companions, uh, they have—they are perhaps not, not the most eloquent bunch. Uh, I have been um, uh, rather affected by it, if I do say so myself. Uh, and he sort of um, uh, mutters, uh, kind of rattles the cage a bit, and says, "Now, I, I, I couldn't impeach you, fine folk, to let me out now, possibly, could I? That, I, I don't want to be uh, rude or nothing, but uh, uh, the, these these creatures—they they have, um, uh, well, they, they have been cutting my body open." <laughs> And uh, he seems always embarrassed to, to say it. Um, meanwhile, uh, can, as you... can I, he just seems like really chill about this and yeah. it's setting off alarm bells. Can I do like a psychology <laughs> check Absolutely. to see? Do a psychology check. Um, meanwhile... I don't have a huge amount of it, but. It would be funny if he's Ooh, just success. like a happy go lucky kind of guy. He's like, well, here's Ooh. what it is. <laughs> like, yeah. Can I look at uh, you know okay. what, uh, Blanca, you've met this kind of person before. There are some people who just don't let the world get them down. <laughs> oh, okay, he's 100% genuine. He's just vibing, good for him. being tortured. He's just like, he's just okay. He is, this is just the kind of guy he is. He's not going to let it get him down. Um, and and he, he's really quite, con he's really happy to see you and, and put a smile on his face. What a nice um, dude. No, he's, 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 like he's this guy. a friendly neighborhood salesman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, speaking of friendly neighborhood people, uh, there is a first aid that has been applied. Who is the most damaged out of every you? Oh, uh, isn't it? Uh, come on. Uh, Bye. Uh, you want to beat that? Being bandied about. <laughs> <laughs> How many health points do you have? I'm on seven. I'm on five. What about you, Grease? I'm on five, but I've already uh, got my... It sounds okay. like Tillers wants it to be Grease, so I, I, think, would, I think it goes to Grease. Grease. Okay. All right, thank you very Suck much. It, Jack. Can we can, can um, we have yes. can we have two each? <laughs> <laughs> no. The day uh, I it all share goes to is the day it's not really me and I'm a lizard, so <laughs> call me on it. It's true. That is how we know it is Greece. Is yeah. you're like, all right. Greece, you're Greece. being really friendly. Shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> Greece, um, can I have one of your peppermint candies? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh Jim, could you yeah. clarify at the start, are there lizards in this room? 
Yes, along the far side, there is another set of cages, mm. and they appear to be filled with these lizard creatures that are... <laughs> oh, so they're what? in it. Okay, all right, but they're not free. All right, I'm going to go head over towards them while this conversation's happening. I'll be looking around at those things. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, okay. So you head over towards them. Uh, meanwhile, this, this happy-go-lucky guy keeps talking. Joseph, you have begun to examine uh, everybody. Um, uh, yeah, there is a there is a, 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 a young woman. Uh, sorry, sorry, a young a young girl uh, who is sitting sort of completely mute at the back of uh, the cage she is in, not moving. Um, there is an, a, a young a young woman, probably in her in her late twenties, um, who is pacing around. There is a, a guy in his his mid forties. Uh, there are two two um, Chiricara Apache folks who are um, standing out. Both of them appear to be quite alert and sort of looking towards you and waving. Um, uh, there is also one fellow uh, in the final cell who looks quite confused and looks up towards you and nods and uh, you do a double take. It is Hiram Colby. Mm. Nah. Um, you need to make a sanity check just because it is so, like, you, you, you have a, a visceral response to seeing uh, this person. Or we're like, hey, Hiram, it's you. And he's like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you manage you 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 uh, you you sort of nodded in out of character and in char- character you figure out you make the connection you're like, yeah okay this makes sense they took my form they took they took his form mm-hmm. um, this all fits together. I uh, I do have I'm wondering if a this is true and b this is something I've started to put together. The two cages are they just different stages of the same thing? Um, make a medicine check. Oh no! I hope not. I I like that I'm playing a character that would actually think the way I do. So I'm like, <laughs> I think this. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it, yeah, it, it's a, you're, you are a smart person playing a smart character, which is good. I'm like, like, similarly, smart, I'm a dumb person like... playing a dumb character. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that. I was Consistent. like, they're snakes, they're humans, everything's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, success. All right. Uh, so uh, lean, you, you, you lean uh, forward and you begin to look at these creatures. A horrible thought occurs to you. This could be some kind of process of degeneration. Is it? Is it? You start to panic. No. No, that the cages are too far apart and that they don't match. Instead, as you are looking across at these creatures, you notice that some of them just appear to be sort of, sort of you would say, less mutated maybe than others. And Greece, as you are walking along and looking at these creatures, you get to one of them who is sort of hunched over, uh, but appears to be almost like an upright standing snake. Um, and as you get there, it starts to kind of spit at you. And but through its teeth, it manages to get out. Human, 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 and kind of hiss at you. It, it, it appears to be very animalistic, but there is almost a, a, an intelligence towards it, something that is a little more than what you have seen. You suspect that uh, this is actually the, the the cages in the corner are, are experiments where they are trying to uplift snakes rather than uh, uh, and 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 that, yeah. Um. Anyway, the, the the humans are now waving. Trying some of them uh, trying to get you to release them. Um. There's no visible like keyholes on these steel doors, and they're quite big. It will take quite a lot of strength to be able to bust these things open um uh the man at the front um uh is sort of nodding to himself a few times and says so so i i, I mean i don't want to be i don't want to be rude but I, I would like to have a chance at uh see seeing the sky once again before i am cut up did you say we found some guns there were some guns further back up in the storeroom yeah um yeah. How, how did they uh how'd they get you out Oh well, well, they, 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 there are many of them that uh, uh, work together, and and they um, they bring tools to lever out the steel grate. Right, Marshall. As uh, your doctor, I advise that we get these people out. We get them somewhere safe, and we get them somewhat looked at. Some are better than others, but all of them have taken a uh, right beaten, if I can use that word, and um. Unsure, and I will look to the two. Uh, did you say Apache? Uh, yeah, Chiricara Apache. Chiricara That's a two. Apache. One of them, um, one of them appears to be quite confused. Um, mm-hmm. He's sort of looking around uh, and, and um, occasionally sort of sits down and doesn't know what happened. There is an, um, 
uh, an older one, probably probably in his late fifties, uh, um, and he he's waving too. Uh, he does look dazed and out of it, but he every now and again he'll stop and like slap himself and be like, okay, okay, focus, um, and then wave to you again. Uh, are you uh, part of Taza's uh, group? His head jerks up when you say Taza, and he kind of nods his time. Taza, Taza, and then yeah. begins to speak to you in a language you don't understand. But I may. I got uh, 40 points in American Indian. Okay, fantastic. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you you step forward and, and you 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 manage to get uh yeah uh, you you two can speak uh pr pretty fluently. If, do you have any questions you'd like to ask him? Uh, I guess just give him ask him his story and and assume it matches up with. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say just yeah. see if their stories match up. What the other fellow said. We was yeah. we were going through knife cut mesa and we we were uh we we were set upon by these. The, the deformed creatures the ones you see in the cages over there and we weren't able to fight them off and they they took us down here and they've been experimenting on us uh, i we, we I, I was taken with my son this at the same time he just towards the uh, uh man in the uh in the other cage um but but he is not uh, the, the, whatever experiments they are doing it is working quicker on him than it than it did on me i i can still keep my senses but he 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 he's he does not speak well anymore he's losing his mind i think well, sir, if we're getting out of here alive, then you're getting out of here alive. We're going to work on getting you out of these cages. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. We, we, there, that we, we know that there are passages in that, to this mountain from inside the Mesa. If you can find passages leading deeper into the mountain, we can lead you out. And your mind immediately flashes back to the tunnels that you saw further up, heading, heading uh, out uh, towards the Mesa itself. That is probably the area that they are referring to. All right, so uh, how do we get them out? Strength. <laughs> it's gonna be a strength check. All right, I can, I can have Could a red. We, I can give it a go. Can yeah. we like pool our up. resources? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so as you walk together, you basically realize this is going to be an extreme strength test. Mm -hmm. Right. Yikes. Um, uh, so what I'm going, what if you if you stack your strength together, uh, how we're gonna do this is you can literally add your strength together. Um, when you make your rolls, so some uh, I can I have a I have advantage on all strength checks. Okay, so, so you could be the one to actually make the check. Yeah, um, and anybody who wants to help can add their strength. Is anyone else trips. is anyone else fairly strong? I oh, are you putting it in chat? Excellent. Also, thank I'm you. I'm not overly strong. Uh, Tilla, very kind of you. Yes, thank <laughs> you. For the bits. Yeah, yes, just one. Yes. Um, so, adding together your points. Um, what, what, it, what are the other two at? Um, so, Blanker at four. No, you're not even strong. Right? All right. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very weak and I, I have other concerns. Okay. Blanker is at 40. Uh, Joseph is at 60. Uh, Mac is at 50. So, you're going to be 150 added to whatever your skill is. Yeah, which is so that takes us to a grand total of, oop, have to do math, uh, 230. Okay, so make a check. You are Hang looking on, for an experience. Which means... Yeah, can you? Can someone divide Thank 230 you. by uh, 5? <laughs> 230 by 5? 46. 46. 46. 46. Ooh, it's not super easy. That's doable. All right. You got a, you got a bonus die as well. All right. And you've got luck. Yep. And 14 you points of luck. Bonus die. Exactly uh, the same. Uh, I will use... I'll spend 14 points of luck. Okay. Um, Which means that you can get one of these doors open. What? What oh, a rip off! Yeah. Oh, I get the the humans. The humans. We'll How do many? the humans first. No, no, yeah, but that's yeah, that's yeah. one so, of them, right? One of oh. the three of them. Yeah. You needed an extreme success, which means. But uh, but if you include all of us, we did get an extreme success. Yeah, that gets us one. Wait, we did. Oh yeah, yeah. So we have to do it another time. We have to to get a second person out. Yeah. Okay. I get open you. one cage. We need an extreme success for every cage. You will need an extreme I mean, These things are clearly pretty freaking strong. Yep. These uh, are huge steel reinforced. Um, well, hold on. Let's let's let out the strongest person first and get them to help us. <laughs> um, the strongest idea. person around um, looks to be probably probably the, the the young woman in her late twenties. Has very broad shoulders and looks like she could probably um, uh, move uh, move things along. Uh, but she also appears to be one of the ones who is the most out of it. She's sort of wandering around her room occasionally kind of looking around blinking a few times um otherwise uh 
uh, the the um, uh, the the older um, Chirikara Apache guy seems to be pretty bulky, but uh, he's not quite at the same tier. People so go how, many, how many cages are there? Uh, there are eight cages. Okay. Um, does someone want to? Does someone want to look for like a way to open these cages up? Because this is kind of tough. Um, maiden, I asked. They they just rip them open. Oh, okay. All right. Um, we don't what, have anything we could use as, 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 you know, like a rope or something. You could make a... Uh, a or a lever. Wait, you could make wait, a repair check. Wait. Yes. I have acid. <laughs> you do. And I have concentrated because I weaken it for anesthetic. Yep. Oh, you no. could, We're you could freely open one of the cages using your supply of acid. It, like... Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. So you'll have to use uh, you'll have to use what you have on hand, but you'll freely over time you'll be able to get one of the cages doors it completely open. I mean, that I don't want to use up all of my antiseptic. Oh, you'll you'll have enough to 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 yeah. This is okay, you, cool. you're well then, stocked. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. I will uh, I will utilize what I have to weaken things enough that I, uh, at that. least with all of us together we can yank it out without too much issue. So that is Two let's, down. Two cages. So let's say we've opened uh, the Apache. Cage. I reckon Apache and the salesman because they seem most with it. Because they seem, yeah, they they can probably give us a hand. Uh, how many other cages are left? Six. Six. Um, six six the left. Yeah, but yeah. a bunch of not those including are lizards. the lizards. Let let us be clear. We're not opening the lizards. Was that? So well, how many we, cages? We could, but I I think it's I, I was I was in favor of no, it. No, now sorry. that I've realized how hard it is, it we might not be able to. Is it eight? people cages yeah, eight people eight people yeah oh, okay. well i could just make the check another uh six times and we'll see what happens could you <laughs> um well, also, don't, don't, I... don't keep making the check for a second because first yeah. of all you open one and then you use your acid dock to open the second um and uh these two people um uh come forward um now i'm just because i don't want to keep referring to him as the chiricara apache guy his name which i'm going to butcher the pronunciation of i am so sorry is um Dakea, D A H K E Y A, Dakea. Dakea, okay. Um, so uh, Dakea and Jameson uh, both come out, and they they seem pretty able to help. Jameson is not particularly strong, but he does his best. Uh, Dakea is uh, pretty bulky, uh, although he does occasionally need a little bit of prompting, and he does seem to be affected uh, by the um wh whatever sickness has been affecting the people in Stillwater. Well, now, their as strength scores exactly. Uh, uh, their strength scores. One second. So we're two thirty currently. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jameson's strength score is 35. So oh, geez, that's not helpful. Decay's strength score is 65. 65. Right, that's, yeah, that, that so plus 100 if they're both helping. 330. Yeah. Uh, 66. 66. Now, 66. while this is happening, though, um, you, uh, I, I want, I want everybody to make. Oh, sorry, actually, uh, Greece, you're you're sort of off to the side, and so are you, Mac. At this, no, Mac, you're helping, aren't you? I was helping. It's just Greece. Okay, it's just Greece, Greece is going to get snuck up on. What's up? Could you please make a listen check for me you got to it. not die? You not die. Got him. Uh, listen. Right. <laughs> yeah, three, three points. Ooh. You can have it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which place you don't hear anything until at the last second, suddenly you hear a, of, a, of, a, of a laser being fired and it slams into the entryway of the area that you're in. And you can see up ahead uh, around the corner for a split second, uh, more figures coming and they begin, they're beginning to barricade the room that you're in, setting up a barricade at the outside um, so that they can sort of fire down into it. You can quickly pull back around the corner so they can't hit you, uh, but you're all trapped. Yeah. Can I'll we still get to those extra they're, guns? They're coming. No, uh, the guns they're are gone. Right. They're in the other room. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, um, we got to do this quick then. Is there any? There's no way out there. Other way out of this room, is there? Um. I mean, you're, you're taking a look around. There is not one that you can see. No. The only area that you 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 thought was sort of going to take you out is those tunnels up. You are literally sort of in, in a sealed cavern at the bottom of a mountain. This mm -hmm. is not a good place to be for rapid right. escape. 
Uh, I, for one, I'm going to try to jailbreak another another cage because yep. that's the only like I, I'm 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 the only one I'm really good at that. So yeah, anyone who wants to join me will be helpful. Yeah, but I can see that there are other things that maybe occupy and characters at the moment. Yep. Um, did I hear you correctly? Uh, I tried to lip read you, um, uh, Joseph. Are you are you uh, uh, you're helping break cages too? Um, I can't shoot people, so I may as well help break cages. All right, so the two of you are doing that, and we'll assume that you're doing that for a while. The two of you trying, levering as best you can, and you have um, uh, Decay and Jameson both helping you as well, yeah. trying to get everything Oof, open. It's going to be tough. Anyway, uh, sorry, continue. Uh, meanwhile, yeah. Blanca and Mac. I guess I'll slam myself uh, behind the doorway. Yep. To set up like a like a shooting position. Okay, um, you start to set up a, a sort of shooting position, getting ready. Uh, you know that a fight is coming. Blanca? Yeah, something. Are they just outside yeah they're sort of setting up uh, at the at the entryway to the tunnel that you that that uh that you've headed down uh so you're gonna have to go past them they look pretty ready to siege you here oh, yeah okay. i'm so just gonna pre- charging us i'm just going to prepare my weapon all right so you've or if any of them try and come in rained on the door grace any action yeah, uh, I want to go and I'm going to sit next to Blanca, keeping an eye out. And once I get a sec, I want to ask her a couple of things. Yes, okay. Joseph, before Greece asks anything. Um, just two things real quick. Um, if I am helping Griff, am I allowed to use luck to bump his role in, like, instead of him if we need luck? Um, or- uh, no, we'd have, we'd make Griff use luck, but um, uh, you you I won't. Still, make you... I've still got a bit. I've still got a bit. Assuming that you're working and you're taking your time and stuff like that. The other one was at the end of our last session, and correct me if I'm wrong. We found a bunch of little grenade rocks. Yes, but they were used to destroy the entryway. So unfortunately, you are out of grenade rocks. Good to know. Good to know Just though. checking. Grace, you had some things you wanted to ask. Yeah. Uh, so once I hunker down next to Blanca, I'm looking back over towards the lizards and then towards the uh, the people in cages or those that have recently be- been released. And I say to Blanca, y- y'all are, are a woman of faith, right? What's it to you? It's just that that, that one that got killed... Um, I mean, he mentioned things about, about cursed land and and folks being punished for what they've done. I'm just not so sure that these people in cages are are meant to be coming out. And also, I mean, if they've been experimented on and, and turned, I mean, how can we be confident they ain't going to turn on us? Or once we bring them out into the wider world, whatever was being attempted on them was successful. You saying we should just leave these people here? I don't know. I just Marshall's going to have to act. It's his, you know, duty and such to save him, but I'm just worried that this is a mistake and that we're unleashing something more dangerous than, you know, we're saving. <sighs> Look, I don't really have an opinion either way and i don't really understand what's going on here but i do know that i think we should just be giving these people a chance at the very least if they do turn on us we can very easily shoot them or we can just get our police friend over here to arrest them but i think what we should probably focus on right now is whatever is setting up outside this door you are be a pro rat i just can't shake the thought this is as has look, I, I hear you. I hear you. I do. I just, I mean, look, I don't want to, it's not my place to condemn people. I think we should be giving them a second chance. All right. And as those words sort of uh, ring out, you can't help uh, Griff but see your eyes drift over uh, to the marshal, the, the, the condemner, who is standing, gazing at the door, determined and focused, uh, ready to bring the law to where it needs to be. Hell yeah. <laughs> now, uh, as you break up in another cage, you're continuing to work, and as you're all ready and waiting, you hear bit by bit footsteps moving towards the entrance to the room. They stop just shy of where you're able to see them, and eventually another voice comes out, this one laden with authority. 
it speaks and it says, human, humans, I am here to negotiate. You can see that you are trapped, but we have no desire to see our kind killed. Speak now, let us come to terms and ensure that we can all leave this mountain or this world in a way befitting us. I demand an answer. One of you cowards speak. An answer to what? What will make you give up your lives? What can we offer you? A quick death? We can provide that. No, we're going to take these prisoners. We're going to go back to Stillwater. And you're going to leave everyone in that town alone. We will not allow that. Well, feel free to make a counter offer, but I'm afraid that's our bare minimum here. This kind of a, a hissing noise for a while, and then uh, you hear them um, sort of speaking in another language. If you would like, you can make a narcal check. Four percent. I still don't understand why they're doing any of this in the first place. What do they got against these normal people out in this town? They ain't lizards. That's what I want to know. And they haven't told us. Can Looks you ask like... them that, Mac? I would want to know what they're doing with the fireworks and stuff. <laughs> you, you, you can have twelve points of luck. I want to know. I think that's uh, more. That's I think that's 19. nineteen. Oh fuck it! You can have nineteen points okay. of luck. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I have like seventy nine. Is that you spent? So they begin to hiss to each other, and you're still. You're, you're beginning to come out of the substance that had affected you, but still, you, you, there's something about this speech that is that is familiar to you, something uh, deep down that seems to just click. And as you tilt your head, you're able to understand a little bit of it. And although you can only catch snippets, you get things like, you know, like, we, we don't need to fear them. We can destroy the facility at any point, bury them all alive. Um, and uh, then there's okay. a, but we, we cannot be sure if any of them survive, if any of them have, they have others outside, we need to ensure we kill all of them at once. And of course, their resistance to the serum is interesting. It needs to be studied. They're talking about I, the masks. That dude's having a whole ass <laughs> monologue to himself. <laughs> they're, no, they're, they're talking to each other. I know, they're, I know. Doc, yeah. tell them we heard their stupid plan. <laughs> <laughs> and then no, let's shoot don't him. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that. Well, we maybe you could you tell are, him that. Idiots. Actually, I don't know. It's up to you. Um, <laughs> after a few moments of conversation, they continue, and you, you miss a little bit of it because of whispering, because I don't want to give you everything away. Um, <laughs> and eventually, the, the voice calls back down and says, We have a counter offer. One of your hatchlings is in prison below. We will let the hatchling live. You mean a kid? Yes. It will walk free, return to Stillwater. The rest of you will remain and throw down your weapons. So you're gonna kill us later? Um, I don't understand, I don't understand. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, you had something you wanted to say, um, Griff? Oh, he doesn't mean in this room. There's yes, there's a child here. in this room. There is okay. a child in all this right, room. Right, all right, all right. A, a eight year old girl sort of sitting at the back of her, yeah. of her cell. That's cool. Um, could have let her out, but she wasn't strong enough. Yeah, so I. I <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, He's in the next cage. I open. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the, vo the voice. The voice says, "We offer this as mercy. Your child will not be harmed." Well, unfortunately, we're here to protect the lives of all the children, all the men and women of Stillwater. That's what we came here to do. That's what we're going to leave here having done. So let's go back to square one. What exactly are you getting out of poisoning those people? Maybe we can help you there. Um, there's kind of a hissing noise. You can offer us nothing. Our work is beyond your comprehension. It will take aeons for us to uplift our brethren who have deteriorated from the power that they once held. And there's more sort of chittering and uh, 
hisses from the other side and then the voice says but at least when we deploy this serum throughout your world we will not have any apes hinder us well I'm afraid we can't quite abide the end of civilization as we know it lay down your weapons or you die now very well Marshal we fight and you hear a great hissing noise a few seconds later rocks are pelted in charging figures come what rocks no i didn't know they had rocks what no laser rifles (laughs) and we will start a with a wonderful combat at the beginning of next session hey thank you so that was okay Ah, like i don't think they had much wiggle room i I don't know how much that that negotiation was going i wanted us to demand a helicopter on the roof (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> and the pizza. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I was like, three million in cash. Like... No, no. You were this close? No, go on, go on. No, no, no it's fine because that might still actually end uh-huh. up needing to be. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Oh, Thank you very man. Much, uh, for joining us on the Phoenix. Extreme of Chaos. All of the audience uh, who jumped in, who listened, who uh, tossed through uh, interesting things. Uh, we appreciate you all. Thank you. And we can't we, wait until next week. Yes, we will be back here next week. But there's also other cool things that are happening. Now, this uh, uh, weekend, you can tune in to listen to uh, the first episode of The White Bull, which is a RuneQuest stream. Those of you who aren't familiar with RuneQuest, RuneQuest is a fantastic uh, mythical game of Bronze Age adventure made by Chaosium. And this game is run by Jeff Richard, the creative director for Chaosium, uh, and has a great team of folks on it. Um, yeah, please tune in. What's the time for that again, David? Exactly. Uh, oh, I it's it's answer. it's. I don't know. We're favoring European time, I think. But it also, I think, I think, I, I don't know. There'll be a tweet going out though, and we'll put the details in the Twitch page, so you can check it all out there. Absolutely. So enjoy that. Uh, that will be happening this weekend. We will be back next week, and of course, you can catch up with previous episodes of. Uh, this uh, of, of shadows over still water and of other games we've played on the chaosium youtube channel thank you so much uh thank you to all the cast uh, to art to daniel to david to jackson to rachel and we will see you again next time goodbye and thank you jamie oh and thank you got him <laughs> <laughs> sniped <laughs> <laughs>